Ah, yes. It's me, Chosen Architect, chilling without a camera this time. Hmm. <laughs> Welcome in. I wonder how many comments I'll get today going, Chosen, where's your camera? Did you break it? Are you sick? No, no, I, I just want to see my screen today. <laughs> All right, anyways, I have a headache. Uh, Cosmovoli, welcome, by the way, with the tier two for 15 months. Soul Reaper with the 16 months. Wow, welcome. Yeah, trip. Chilled Gamer with the prime for 30 months. This is, ooh, day, day off, but on a trip. That sounds fun. I want to do that. I want to go on a trip. Man, I need a day off. <laughs> <laughs> Spooky Chosen, yeah. Chosen directed directly out of Chosen. Aha, uh -huh. yes. Right here, right here, right through through me, through this guy. Hello. <laughs> I start saying, hello, turn it into Iskow. <laughs> I know you said you want well, to see your camera and have a headache, so no camera. Ah, where's yes. Where's your camera? But where's my camera? Death Star, thank you for the 500 bits. Appreciate that. No, you guys can't see my beautiful, ugly face today. No, not allowed. Not allowed. Just not going to happen. <laughs> Thank you, by the way, for the 500 biddies. I appreciate that. Ah, so we're back into this crazy pack. Yes, we're back into some more FTB Skies B Simulator. Uh, no, actually, uh, uh, put your stuff everywhere simulator. Wait, hold on. I'll get it. I'll get it. Just give me a second, chat. Okay, I'm, I'm completely lost. I, I have no idea. Uh, the simulators of simulators. All right, I'm still lost. All right, I did update the, uh, I did update this a little bit. There are some things I gotta, I gotta fix here. There we go. So now we have that clear. But yes, anyways, welcome, welcome, welcome. <clears throat> Just picked up your daughter from school. Uh, and she already asked if you were live. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, mm -hmm. That's, that's adorable. Because of all the colors, she's only, uh. But yeah, another. Can we see more episodes? Ah, oh, another episode is going to come out today. The other two are going to be a bit more staggered. I do have them recorded, but I can't publish them all at once. I got to kind of separate things. Thank you, YouTube, for the weird algorithm stuff. I also already had people complaining that I'm uploading videos too fast. I was like, ah, uh, I'm like, I can't. They're not going to be uploaded as fast as typical because I am not going to be making these videos as quick as I was able to make all the Mods 9 videos. Just because there's so much more quality of life in those and all the Mods 9. So, anyways. Welcome. <laughs> what? What do you mean, what? The fact that I already have a couple other videos done? Is that what the what's about? Is that what it's all about? You can have more of your videos. They aren't too fast. I, yeah, I know. Like the people, people said that. People have said that. I'm not kidding. It has been said. Don't ask me. I have no idea. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I mean, it doesn't bother me. I'm going to upload at my own pace regardless of what people say. That, that, that you don't have to worry about. But I can only make the videos as fast as I can make the videos. And I, I don't feel like... Like, I don't want to make videos that are just boring. I, and I don't, if I, if I feel like they're boring to watch, I don't want to put that video out. And that's just, that's just been me. Uh, maybe that's been the last couple of years. I mean, really, it's been since I started making videos. I wanted to make videos that were high quality, that were engaging at almost every moment of the video. But, I don't know. This, uh... Judging by yesterday's video performance, I don't know if it's because it's in the middle of the week. I'll wait till this weekend, see if that video performs any better over the weekend. But uh, it does seem like uh, that video was meh, which was disappointing. But maybe it's just because it was on a Thursday, like a random Thursday video. I should have probably waited till the weekend, till Friday. Uh, next week is, is going to be spring break for a lot of people. So we'll see. We'll see how this uh, series pops off. Who knows? You are high quality. Oh, you guys are too nice. You guys, it's like I got my hype squad here. <laughs> All right, I've got to figure out where I left off last Friday, and 
we, we're diving deeper into this. I was also thinking, um, we just unlocked the ability for us to get several new things, actually. Your outfit is something. It really is, isn't it? We have refined glowstone chest piece. We have cave centipede leggings. Our boots broke and our helmet hasn't been generated. And I still have my Batania flower on my head. <laughs> I've got my beautiful monocle. And we got these fantastic looking thorn. I got the drip, man. I am rocking the drip. How far along in the quest book are you? We we technically finished up the first page getting started. Except for making the uh, diesel stuff. Which I haven't looked at how we actually go about getting this. Looks like ethanol comes from sugar. And... It's pneumatic craft. I'm assuming we're not doing it this way. That would be hard to maintain that many spider eyes, but it is possible. We could do it that way. But pneumatic craft would probably be the better way to do it. Unless ethanol is meant to be get, gotten uh, some other way. Uh, it does show spider eyes. So maybe that is how it wants me to do it. We just need to automate spider eyes. Yummy. That sounds nothing more delicious than a spooter eye. Mmm. Delicioso, as Dora the Explorer taught me when I was growing up. Uh, but yes, right here. So we are producing ores. <clears throat> Not very fast. That's something we need to get work worked on. Um, we do need to produce more meshes. I think having uh, like a double set of this working on ore is good because now we have zinc. And so that means brass. Um... And Brass opens up a couple of things for us that we can do with the Create, like we can now make Brass Funnels. There's apparently a Brass Sifter. I don't think that's probably any better than a normal Sifter. Maybe it is, though. What's a Brass Sifter do? Bra what is this from? This is from the Create... Create Sifter mod. Is there anything that talks about the Brass Sifter? Update. Brass Sifter. It just doesn't say anything. Okay. Brass Sifter. Hi. Uh, redstone disables processing. Filters <clears throat> uh, for... Okay. Oh, you can filter to allow or deny outputs. Okay. That's cool. Eight times processing per cycle. And it's configurable. Bigger output capacity. It's also configurable. Eight times ore processing per cycle. The coffer is pogger. Dude, the coffer is amazing because look at this. Look, look, look. Watch, watch, watch. If I just want to pick it up, I just punch it. Dude, it is straight up. Does this look familiar? Like, this kind of looks familiar, right? It reminds me of the create toolbox. Except I can put the coffer here, fill it up, and then I can just bring it back to my main storage quickly and place it next to my main storage. And you know what this does? This will pull the items automatically from that inventory. And then I can just pick this one up and I can rotate coffers. They can also, they're also like big backpacks. So they're just like big backpacks. They also have uh, some crow stuff. If you have crows, I think crows can gather items and put them in the coffer once you have, uh, have tamed a crow. But yeah, I'm looking at that brass sifter. What in the world? Hi, redstone. And this was updated in 2023. Okay, like on the, in September. Eight times processing per cycle. So it does eight processing, eight of these in one per cycle. Is that what I'm getting out of that? Yeah, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to test this out. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna leave this running, making sure all of this is funneling these resources um but this is the main thing i need i need zinc because we're gonna have to heat mix some zinc fancy a hype yeah welcome that's cool okay that's cool that's cool I, I wonder how it's been configured uh hopefully it's just not like the same and it's actually worth getting getting one of those sometimes diving into these like little intricate things of these mods sometimes are rewarding like this this seems pretty rewarding um okay Hey, good morning. Astro, welcome in. 
But yeah, it's Void. Thank you, by the way, for the 19 months with that tier one. Appreciate that. Oh, yeah, I should pin a message. Let's see. No cam today. Head. Head. Hurt. Hurty. Uh, how long? Um, uh, yeah, until end of stream. No camp today, head hurdy. Perfect. All right. I can't handle the lights. Man, I wish I could demonstrate to you guys how obnoxious it is to need to, like, if I'm using a green screen, which I do, I know I could probably not use a green screen, but the way my desk is situated, it's kind of awkward to not have a green screen. And I, I don't like obstructing the whole game with my camera. But you need a lot of light. You need a lot of light. That's why it was really interesting when uh, Sparkles posted, uh, he posted a video and he was talking about um, a camera or a, a green screen company that he was uh, like affiliated with. And I was like, that's sick. The green screen illuminates itself, which is a big issue with green screens is you have to illuminate the green screens with light. Otherwise, the green screens don't work like they're supposed to. So that's a big, the big reason, like you have to have a ton of lights. It's not necessarily a light me. There's a lot of light in the room, but I have to light this green screen to keep it a consistent color. So the, uh, the camera can key it out, but man, it's a, it's a headache. It's a lot more to stream in than you might think. Here I'm complaining about something that some people say is the easiest job in the world, right? <laughs> easiest job in the world. I should probably put a coffer here too. <laughs> That way I can just pick it up and like, I, this is very early game stuff. Like we, we are very, very early game in this pack still. Like we have not hit, well, we've hit a major milestone, but we've not really hit anything just yet. And I do, I do want to do some building today because we're going to need a lot more space than what I'm currently working with. It's honestly gross how much space I don't have right now on this measly little island. If we had a way to teleport to the other location easily, I would just move to the Sky Island and build off the Sky Island, I think. I really want to do that. I want to build off the, f the first Sky Island I found, which is out here. Like, I want to make this the primary location of our base. And not this. But I've got to figure out how to do that well. That's going to be... That's going to be a big challenge. I think that'd be a fun challenge, though. It's going to be fun. Okay, that's what it's all about, right? Uh, speaking of fun, let's grab some leather here. Let's make sure we have leather processing. And I got to get some food. Is that a sky village? It is a sky village. It's freaking awesome. It's so good. It's so good. Lazy Coder, thank you for the 20 months of the Prime. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. Oh, my Marachi isn't working. Dang it. I thought Alex's mom's was in here. Is it Alex's mom's in here? Yeah. Hold on. I might be able to re-pull your, uh, your requests. Oh, I have it turned off. I'm sorry, chat. Let me see if I can event chat. Uh... How far did you request that? What did you say? What is this? Hmm. Let me test it myself. Dang it. Well, I'm going to have to disable it. I thought it would work. I don't know why it wouldn't work. Unless uh, they changed the way mobs can be summoned now. They may they might have changed this command. It should work. Oh, well, I'll disable it. Sorry. Yeah, that kind of sucks. 
it's a fun command when it does work, but I, I didn't have time this morning to test it out. I was hoping that it would just work, but it doesn't. Sorry for wasting your points. Anyways, back to this. Better give him some money. Oh my God. I, I want it to work. I want those commands to work. I also want to know like how to fix this. This happens in more than just this pack. Like, I don't know what's causing this. Like, I, I bet it's like one of the, um, the video settings. But which one? Is it just like any, is it calling? It's the rain shield? No joke, it's the rain shield doing it. Oh my God, it is the rain shield. But wait, what? But why? <laughs> what? That's so strange. Huh. I could just turn rain off, but anyways. <laughs> Did we put the rain shield to get rid of the particles? Yeah. All right. I got to grab some food as much as I can get of food. Um, okay. I had, a, I guess I was playing around with cultism. Oh yeah. We were going to need, I think that's where we left off, right? We were going to need to get into occultism because we, we needed to make the first like uh crusher because i'm pretty sure there's something in here that required us to use that crusher for something i think it was in this section as we were moving on we realized we needed to make cakes if we were going to get mana we have to automate cakes oh can i make a clipboard you know what this would be probably the best thing we could do is make a clipboard right i love clipboards by the way uh so food Let's first like get something to eat real quick. Um, it would be, it would be good if I just like, if I converted this into a source berry. Let's put the source berry like back here, and let's like bone meal. That should be good. Now we have source berries, by the way. Uh, let me grab some wheat. We can make some of my favorite food in in the game. It's that's the, the source berry rolls. Source berry rolls are so good. So they're just like this, and then you make a source berry roll. Fantastic, and they're pretty decent food. And then they also give you uh, mana regen, so like you can continue eating them until your your um. Your saturation goes all the way up. Sushi? I haven't made any of the sushi yet, but that might be something we dive into once we get some more space built out. This is really claustrophobic, and I'm like, I'm, I'm slowly starting to lose it, like, like, like I was before I got storage set up. Oh, we do get another mana still mesh. Oh, so there's more rewards now. So these weren't in existence whenever we completed these things. Oh, we get an elven mana spreader? No way. What is this? This is elemental craft. 30... Percent speed. Vote. Just gave out Yo! one subs. Direct the vote. Thank you, by by the way, for that gift sub. Going to us, Windy. Thank you. Thank you for gifting that sub. Hello, <laughs> little foxy, little foxy. Uh, this right here is pretty good. Let's see. This, I think, is what allows us to speed up our, like, elemental craft um, machines that are... Th those are pretty slow, but this right here, I'm replacing it right away. Need an axe. I'm replacing this right away. Where's my wand? Ow. Getting randomly punched. Perfect. That will work a little bit better. <laughs> That's a darn elven mana spreader. That's insanity right there. The skin is adorable, isn't it, Craig? <clears throat> but yeah, we got another mana still mesh. That's great. Well, let's actually go down here and uh, and check our little setup we got going on. Let's turn this off. Um, that way I can configure this. Um, so in here, yeah, we got tons of ore now. But let's like replace this. That way I can get into brass. That's going to be something like on my to-do list. We'll put that here and here. 
We can put this here. Um, I think we have enough, like, alloy, anisite alloy. It's, it's gravel that we're getting this from, right? So get us a bunch of raw ore. This is so good that we're getting raw ore now from this. It might be in our best interest later on to also um, have this like fully automated. But the problem right now is that we're having with fully automating things is these water wheels. Like that was that's one of the big things in this pack is the lack of the water wheels running constantly or the stress power being produced constantly. And I can't wait till we have some sort of viable setup for that. Even if it's something that we need to expand on, I am completely fine with modular builds. And so if the diesel generator that we're going to be pushing into is it needs to be modular. I want to build this thing so I can make more of these. Um, that's the idea, right? And so it looks like to make this thing anyways, we needed brass and all kinds of stuff. So we weren't even to... I'm surprised it's on the first page, to be fair. Since it kind of hints like you should be going there, but you probably won't be able to. Anyways. All right. So while that's running, uh, let's dive a little bit further into what we actually need to do and figure this all out. So um, it was something here. There's a field projector. It looks like mana diamonds or something. Okay, so, so cakes. I'm pretty sure cake automation. Uh, is going to be on the list for today. Um, actually, let's let's do uh, expand or or expand or try and move the base to the sky island. Let's see what we can do. All right, and then work on. Cake automation. So far, that's where we're at. Is ours in the pack? It is. It is in the pack. Um, and and it does mention the mage bloom seeds, lingering potion. There's this, and talks in about getting into this. So that's all. Oh, that's what we need to the crusher. Okay. Okay. Uh, so so we just need to make the crusher foliate. Okay. Um. Uh, that's what we got to do. Okay, so that's what we need. So that's why I made this before we ended the stream. Okay, and that's why we have this set up here. Okay, so it needs all of these things that we see here. Iron plate, the binding, and then we also need the, uh, the first ritual. The Vera, is that what's called? Um... Avaras, or av av aviars aviars. I, I'm I'm almost positive. So this this mod, right? Um, this is about, is it Hindu folklore, Islamic folklore? This is Islamic folklore. This whole mod, I believe, is built off of Islamic folklore. Just some like quick information about it. Um, which is kind of interesting. And it's also based around a book that I have never read. It is based around a book. Where is the tab that talks about what this mod is? It's about, about the Dictionary of Spirits. Getting started. Rituals, magic storage, rituals. Where does it talk about... Forget what book it is. What happened to your Divine Journey 1 series? Look at how old that is. <laughs> Watch her, dude. Look at... Dude, I was brand new to Minecraft, and I play, I was playing an expert pack. I shouldn't have been playing that. I knew nothing about that, that pack. Is it about the summoning circles? Ah, uh, there's a section in here that has lore. I wanted to read it. Oh, 
Huh. The divination wand, okay. Where's it at? I don't know. Well, anyways, um, it is based off of a book. Deep lore, yeah. I mean, it, it, I just, I don't see where it's at. deleted it either way uh pretty sure islamic folklore um let's see do 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 does it say on the uh the the cultism's uh curse forge page do 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 i know i probably shouldn't be worried about this but I feel like it's important to this mod. Um, okay. So in truth, okay. Um, magicians are widely known as powerful wielders of magic. In truth, however, um, they rely on summoned spirit slaves known as demons to perform magic on their behalf, which is what this is all about. This is This mod is inspired by the world of Jonathan Stroud's um, uh, Wow, I don't know why I can't say this. Uh, Bartimus? Is it Bart Bartimus? I'll post it in chat. This is the this is the book. This is the book. Some people said that they've read it and they really enjoyed the book. I still have yet to to read this. Um, it says if you haven't read the book, uh, do that now. <laughs> With the help of occult rit uh, rituals, you summon spirits, um, also known as demons, from other place, from the other place. So that's, that's where they're coming from, is the other place. Um, to aid you in your adventures. So. Um, seems pretty cool. Seems pretty cool. I, I do want to read the book. I just, I've never... Um, Never seen it, so never even heard of it until I started playing with the occultism mod. So I don't know what it's about. The whole like jinn and stuff like that is uh, is Islamic folklore, I believe. Okay, oh, there's a wiki link. Nice, nice, nice. It's a series of young adult novels. Oh. Fantasy and Magic, written by a British writer. The story follows the career of a teenage uh, magician and a 5,000-year-old genie. Huh. Sounds absolutely in in adorable. The fact you just got an ad about horror. Oh god. All right, so we gotta we gotta get the crusher fully before we we generate this thing. Though I do want to. Um, actually, we need chalk, right? So this is gonna require the the basic summoning circle. I don't know where I'm gonna put the circle, but for right now, we need this thing, <clears throat> which is just white chalk, and it looks like candles. Uh oh. Um, I hope these count as candles. Ah. Tallow? We have tallow. Okay, good, 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 good. Yeah, we ended up finding tallow, I believe. Um, okay. You can use any any candle. 
So I think Indiana will work. Uh, and then we need the... We need Andesite. So we can get Andesite from this guy. So this guy's got us covered with Andesite. Perfect. We need to toss the Andesite into the fire. That makes other stone. Then we're going to need some gold for this. Ow. What hit me? All right. So we'll be, we'll be making quite a few of these things right here. Where are they at? Right here. So this and this. Okay. So main sacrifice ball is going to need eight gold. Oh, goodness. Why are you so mean and gold hungry right now? Why you got to be so gold hungry? Thankfully, though, we can just make gold. We don't have to go through that, like, really annoying process anymore. Still processing. Oh, it's so good. Look at all the gold we got. All the gold and copper. And, like, we have a little crusher demon. Uh, I believe he doubles this. Yeah, the little crusher guy is going to double all of our ore. He's not very fast, though. Very slow, dude. It's, it's unfortunate. Um, and we could probably use like my little uh, create setup to do to do this. I bet. Like if we have brass now, we could use the little create setup because create always drops the one item, and so we can just drop it onto the top of them. And we'll just use some trap doors to keep the little fella inside. It'd be pretty easy to automate, like I did in all the months nine. Look at all the ore though. Oh my goodness, it's so good. All the raw zinc and copper I could ever want. All the brass. I'm so ready to move. I want to get this moved into a new location. I want that Sky Island. So as soon as we have the crusher, we can start harvesting. Uh, let's see, ours, let's actually get one of these planted, right? We need to plant this. I need a uh, bone mill. And I think as soon as we have this, we can start making our scrolls. Wait, what? Oh, wait, no, we can't. Wait, what? Or that creeper sound? It's it's not fair, is it? Wait, so we can't craft these. Oh, so I can't even like that would just be getting us uh Ah, oh, shoot. Huh. What am I gonna do? Hmm. Golden Muck, welcome. How would we teleport from one place to another? I guess we won't. Unless we happen to find these somewhere she doesn't look like we can get them anywhere this is apparently by the way broken hmm. you can get them for the moon traders yeah but that's 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 years down the road that's years down the road we still need to make the r's book let's do that too Let me swap out the coffers real quick. So we have this now back at the base. And then we'll make our uh, our crushing demon spirit. Who's very temporary, by the way. He lasts, he lasts quite a while, though. Typically. <laughs> Ours book is great, yeah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. 
Uh oh, chat. We've got issues. We'll get there. I think we have, we got an extra one as a reward, so. We do have the ability to link this guy. Let's see, how many, we have 17 connected inventories. And we can have up to 24. Before we add another bookworm. That's just, just where we're at right now. Alright, let's uh let's clear out a little place to summon in our demon. Why not over here for right now? I'll put you we put a little little thing ritual over here. These take up so much space though. That's my biggest complaint about the rituals, is they're just they're so huge. I've come, I've tried to come up with like ideas for like how to stack these, but it seems like in 120, you can now build all of the rituals in one space. I don't know if that was in this version as well. Oops. Uh, cause some people said that, um, it's not necessarily that way. Oh, th these things have so limited durability. It's a netherite pick, right? Yeah, who needs the old pick? We got we got these from loot. Yeah, unfortunately not in the, this version. Okay, so it's not a thing in this version. So yeah, in in the in the newer versions, you can build all of the rituals into themselves, and so the Figma's ritual is the pinnacle ritual. It's the final ritual. Everything can be done inside of that ritual, and so that's. That's amazing. And I'm fine with that. Like it taking up that much space is fine, but I've, I've had to like build the rituals like in huge areas that it just felt absurd. It just takes up so much space. It's, it's really hard for me to come up with ideas to make it look good. Cause it's just all flat. It's all very flat. What was that noise? Oh God. Uh, could you maybe do a series? Sometime in the future on these packs. How much time do you think I have? Like, I, this is what I kind of want to understand. You're, you're suggesting, uh, Sky of Diamonds. I don't, I don't know if that's an expert pack or not. These are all 112 packs. I really don't want to play any 112 packs. If you don't remember how long it takes to load up a 112 pack, it's honestly, it's so annoying. It's so annoying. But no, I do not want to play Divine Journey 2. I don't want to replay Divine Journey. I don't want to play any Greg Tech packs. So, uh, please, please. Yes, please knock out Greg Tech Horizons next month. Thanks. <laughs> Dude, at least Sarah's got a hilarious sense of humor. <laughs> Could you please just show every intricate detail of Greg? Ta you know what's funny? I just find that like people want me to play this and then they just don't watch. That's exactly what happened with all the mods nine. I got a lot of people. They were like, "Hey, play Greg Tech," but I'm not gonna watch you play it. I just want you to do it. Like, <laughs> what? Thus ends all the mods nine. I mean, I was basically done with all the mods nine once I made the star, but. And I, I crafted every creative item. Is this a Twitch only mod pack? Yes. For right now. Yeah, yeah. This is. I'm, I'm having fun with it. We, we are playing two expert packs right now on Twitch. And one of the hardest mod packs I've ever played, I am currently playing. And that is create um, arcane engineering. It's insane. It's absolutely insane. 
but uh and in this pack this pack like you really need to know how to use all of these mods in here you really do so that's what would make this one an expert pack um you also need to be an expert of jei hey chosen man just finished watching your all the mods nine series gotta say love your videos watch them every night before bed thanks for the amazing content well thank you Maybe the kind of words. Appreciate that, neighbor. All right. Uh, chalk. I feel like if I was to record this for like a actual series, um, I have a feeling that this wouldn't seem like an expert pack. Does that, that, does that make any sense? Does that, does that make any sense? I just, I don't think that it would feel like that. Because I would be cutting out most of the grind. Like, almost all of the grind would be gone. This feels more like an intermediate pack, just saying. Depends on what you're comparing it to. I really don't know what you guys are comparing things to. If... Oh, bro, open a can of soda while playing. No, this is... That's a, that's the reminder to me to drink some some water. I probably shouldn't be drinking the coffee on the hydrate. I'll drink water. Mmm some good water chap honestly I'm, I'm glad that i put that back in because i have been uh kind of hurting myself recently by not uh not drinking like i'm supposed to <clears throat> which has not been good um so yeah i'm not drinking water it's an intermediate pack because you're making it look e too easy I mean, if I, if I played it on YouTube, yeah, yeah. If I played it on YouTube, it would not look like an expert pack. Because of the way that I record videos, it just wouldn't look that way, I don't think. It at least wouldn't look as, um... It wouldn't look like things take as long as they do. I think that's the thing with YouTube that gets cut out of the understanding and out of the equation. Is, oh, this actually does take a long time that you, you just never see. Taking the hydrated messages as your own personal hydration reminders. Oh yeah, it's a reminder for everyone. Yeah, for sure. Oh, did I forget again? Oh, I did. Scion of Disconi just oh, gave out five subs. Dude, I cannot fit in here. <laughs> Scion, you just filled this whole area with these little guys. Now, how am I supposed to handle this? My goodness. All right, these, these chickens are really got to go. This is, they are, they are making a mess. I can't believe I just did all of this without. I got I to gotta get some andesite and repair this. I wonder if in this update, if it's just one andesite or if they, if Sarath decided not to do that. It was four andesite, I think. Now is it just one? I can't tell. It says zero percent. Oh, it's just one now. Oh, thank God. That is that is so much better. Oh, that is so much better. Cheers on that one. Back in my day, it was three. Phil's old man. God, good God. Back in your day. Uh, all right. So I, I was hoping those would be done. But I guess right now I've got to do this. But we can go ahead and get the, uh, the ritual started. Oh, by the way, I was watching a little bit of Dire play this. And uh, I don't know what it was. I don't know what exactly, because I usually I just turn things on and I'll, I'll go, oh, Dyer's got a got a video out on this. And 
it's like episode 40 and I'm like, what the frick? Like how I, I blink and it's already on episode 40. Now I, I get how other people feel when they watch my content too. But <laughs> I was like, I, I heard him like craft something and he, he was like, I, I, I achieved this thing. Like I made this thing and I feel good. And then he looked at the quest book and he looked at the rewards and then he goes, Oh, but I just did this and I don't get rewarded for it. <laughs> and he, he sounded so salty. And I just, I just, I kind of giggled inside. I don't know why, but it made me giggle a little bit. Yeah, the rocket. <laughs> he just, he was like, he was like, oh, I just did all this hard work. <laughs> he played it off like he wasn't frustrated a little bit, but you, I could tell he was, he was a little frustrated. And I, I thought that was funny. I was like, man, that's the most relatable thing. Sometimes I thought it was funny. I just I just happened to hear it. I, well, I didn't even see what he was actually doing. Unfortunately, I was just I just heard it while I was working on something else. Like I don't know if I was just like actively waiting for something to happen in game or what have you. But I I heard that and I just I, I giggled a little bit. Oh goodness, me being goofy. Alright, I thought the bulls went there, but they do not. They go here. Aww. We're summoning demons, chat. We're doing the demonic rituals things. Oh no. The demonic rituals. Oh no. All right, I'm, I'm going to turn the game off. Dang it, I got to make the brush. I don't know why. Wait, does the quest give me a brush? Did you give us a brush? Oh, thank God. <laughs> it's like, I bet that's a quest reward. Oh, jeez. That flower in your head really sells the evil of this ritual. <laughs> I know. Blame Vasky. We need a we need a toggle. The only way I can toggle it off is by taking my cape off. I have to go to options, skins, and turn capes off. And then when my cape's off, the flower's gone. That's, I think, the only way I can toggle it off. I wish there was a dedicated toggle key. Because I think there are toggle keys. But honestly, I, I've i had, like, people uh, do, like, fan art and stuff. And, and, like, the flower is just a part of me now, apparently. It's just a part of my character. All right, I gotta grab my candles. Interesting that the flower is on the K player. Isn't it weird? Yeah, I don't. I'm not. I'm no mod dev, but come at me, bro. Come at me, bro. Let's go. Let's do. Okay. Back to what we were doing. All right. <laughs> you should have a 1% chance that the goat explodes when you hit it. Just 1% one, 1 chance the goat explodes in general. Like, I don't... Like, it would be a reminder to, hey, claim your stuff. Or the goat just, it just, like, when it spawns in, it just runs a uh, replace beneath in, like, a 3x3 three three area. And so it just digs a hole all the way through your base into the void. If it hits your machines, it hits your machines. Uh, knowing my luck, I would get that reward. Like I would, it would, I would have the chance that that would happen. It's 
sprays rotten flesh all over the place. That would be kind of gross, actually. I bet there's some pretty gross particle effects in this pack. With Alex's mobs in here, 100% there's some gross particle effects. There's also like, um, there's this right here. Let's see. What is it? Alex's mobs earthquake. This, oh no, not that one. Earthquake. Let's do like five seconds. This is crazy. <laughs> this is an insane effect. Okay. That one. And then the other one I'm using for the other effect. The earthquake is pretty crazy. Yeah, okay, the, yeah, it's from the Rocky Roller guy. Yeah, that guy, we we called him the uh, the Hedgehog, Sonic the Hedgehog, in because uh, he was in Vault Hunters. That guy was scary, dude. He can stun lock you. All right, I just need the bowl. Just need to make this sacrificial bowl. I just talk too much, Jet. <laughs> why am I? Why am I even playing a game? I should just sit here and talk all day with you guys. I don't even get anything done. It's typical me. Hey, chat. I just brought the bowl to the party, chat. You guys ready? I brought the bowl. All right, we're missing some. Dude, the, it looks so... Which ones have we not done? This one? It looked like I had all of them done. Which ones? Huh. Huh. My, my, my brain, man. They all look like the same. The outline was the same transparency. Default looks like a two. Okay. Interesting. All right, but now it's done. Uh, so we can make a crusher demon. Crusher demon, here we come. Here we go. Here we come. Okay, I need iron. For some reason, the crusher foliate requires, instead of the original recipe, it requires like soul steel. And also requires andesite alloy and copper. Huh. And we already have our book, but you make the book and then you craft it. You craft the uh, the book with uh, with your dictionary of spirits, and then that will make the thing you need. By the way, you can use hoppers on these. Hoppers do work on the bulls. So if you wanted to summon more of them, you can. Uh, and now we're getting into the waiting simulator. Occultism's waiting simulator, chat. All right, little dude. Little dude. I hope you're ready, little dude. Little dude. I think we can use a book to pick this guy up, I think. Isn't there a book for that? Pick up the spirits. I don't know why they made this so long. Oh, this is not long. This is not long, Taz. The, I think the longest thing I've experienced in this in this mod was crafting these stabilizers. Dude, the stabilizers take so long, though. Like, it's like five minutes or more. Oh, yeah, you can definitely use a time pouch. I always use the time of the bottle on it. You rush the temporal pouch, but yeah, it, like that would help. But like the, the, God, the stabilizers take like five minutes plus or more. It does take a while.
Look at him. He's so cute. This guy is so much cuter than the other one. Oh, this has the older uh, skins. The newer, the newer ones are pretty cool. I do like the new, um, I do like the new models and stuff. I wonder if there would be a way, is there a way? Maybe not. I was gonna say, I wonder if there's a way for you to pull the old models and use QVJS to convert these to more. the new, convert these to the new version. I don't know. Ivy Kirkland, thank you for the three months. Welcome. So, and 24 streams. Can't wait for more. All the more. Do more. If they have the new models, I doubt they're uh, really easy to doable. Ah, uh, yeah. No, it, it's yeah, it's it's a full model rework. I'm pretty sure the whole model is redone. I think they're still the same entities, but I'm pretty sure the models are different. From the uh the 120 version they're cool they're cool that's what i say i just i think they're kind of cool looking Aww. like the uh the myriad has like a, a trident i love how your hair didn't render yeah it doesn't render because i have these spawning in as babies and it doesn't spawn with the hair on the babies <laughs> your outer layer you are literally a baby version <laughs> a hairless baby I better better start using him. He's he's going to be decaying. Oh, zero? Wait, essence decay zero percent. It'll start to decay and he'll get to one hundred. Um, so that means the main thing that I wanted to use him on is bone meal. Let's get some bone meal. We have plenty of bone meal now, so this is not a problem. Um, I'm pretty sure we can bone mill mage bloom seeds. So let's find a crop to do this for one. Never need mage bloom again. <clears throat> you see nothing, Jet? Oh, click your go burn. Excuse me, what? I can, cl I just click that fast. I just, that's how fast I can click, chat. You just, you just gotta get good. You just gotta get good. All right, and then I'm gonna let this guy, let this guy crush it out. Uh, Something cool that I could do with this guy, I can't really pick him up. Uh, I need a book to pick him up. Uh, but like just a regular hopper should work. Um, there are other demons that you can do that will actually pick the stuff up that this guy drops. But for right now, I'm just going to have him stand on top of a hopper. You can only dream of being that good. Yeah, yeah. Only. Yep. You'll never be able to click as fast as me. Ha! In your dreams! Sound like an anime character. Okay, so Blaze Fiber, and then apparently Blaze Fiber leads into Mana Weave? Oh, that's interesting. Blaze Fiber... It's not too bad to make. That'll get us some some beefy armor. Just having just the basic R's armor, though, is pretty powerful. And we could probably make... I don't want to make the Battle Mage, so I'm not a big fan of the Battle Mage gear. However, the basic is, is good, like this gear. Here we are going. Here we are again, putting on some R's gear. No. 
Not like sh oh sure, bone mill is fine, but digging in dirt, sheesh. Well, auto clickers don't really help you dig in the dirt. However, with ours, if you have enough source, you can use an auto clicker with the book, the spell book. Yeah, and it works kind of, it's kind of crazy, the break spell. If you have an area to mine, but this pack, you're not going to have an area to mine. Yo. Hope you're doing Bowden. well, smile. Thank you for the 15 months. Welcome back with the Prime. I'm doing pretty good. We're we're just figuring things out in this pack. Kind of chilling. I'm having fun. Like I I just want to. I think me limiting myself to playing this every Friday has uh, has made me uh, slow down when I do play it. And I think sometimes I kill myself when I like when I rush packs. And so. I've been also with this one been kind of taking it slow. Probably too slow. Okay, source condensers. Source is magic. Being able to bucket it and store it as fluid would be optimal. Using the source condenser is exactly for that. It'll even output into tanks below. That makes source liquid. And then that makes liquefied source. Interesting. That makes fuel for Ad Astra. Okay. Sure, it's a little more vague than that. Crude oil. Biodiesel and liquid source makes fuel. Ooh. Ooh, we're getting into space. If you're having fun, it ain't it ain't too slow. <laughs> Base chosen moment, yeah. Uh, I do need to look in the occultism section. Um, I'm pretty sure there's a way that we can bind a book. At least I thought there was a way to bind a book to pick up. This right here, Book of Calling. Okay, so it's just that book with a furnace. Right? Book of Calling. Book of Calling allows you to control summon spirits and to store it. Oh, wait. Is this only for the special ones, like the janitor and stuff? Oh, there's a book. You just use an ender lead? I guess we could use an ender lead. Well, you need the book to be able to control some other stuff. I'll also think outside of the ender lead, because this is... Uh, this we should be able to do. Um, there's also another thing we can use. This actually would pick the guy up, wouldn't it? This will actually be super helpful. If you have to punch him, right? Yeah, punch. Your ability. Um... I was going to say stirrups.
Man, it's, oh, there it is. Stirrups. Inverted stirrups. Does the interlead ho work with hostile mobs? Probably it's a, from Apotheosis. It should. It's any entity. Yeah, they can pick these guys up. Let me test this out. Uh, funnel. A backpack yet? I should probably make a back. Can I make a backpack? I probably could. We need a honeycomb though. do this. Let's get this, see if we can get a bee going here. That'd be great. Um, I would love to get a backpack ASAP. Bees are a little finicky. They need a unique machine to process the combs. Not for regular honeycombs like that. We should be just be able to shear this to get regular combs. Right? To get a regular honeycomb, you just shear a hive. I remember bees being kind of a, an important part of, um, like having combs and honey was an important part of the original skies. All right, let's, uh, yeah, having a backpack, that way we can put things in that we're like actively working on would I think be a way to, to like help me keep track of everything we're doing. So we've got that done, occultism crusher. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and see if we can't work on the book, the R's book, the spell book and see what we can't do here. Uh, so this is made like that. It's a novice spell book. What does it take to upgrade this? Diamonds, blaze rods, obsidian, and quartz. Um, We just need a blaze rod. I feel like with the blaze rods, um, <clears throat> we might be able to get by with doing like a spawning area. And then we can do vector plates. Uh, and we can do this in the nether. Like, just to get a nice supply of of these things. This whole area chunk loaded. I mean, we probably could take, like, just one of the spawners. One of the cursed dirt. 
but it seems like things spawn quite frequently actually in this and so we could build this out here um oh we're gonna need slabs did i bring i have a crafting table okay so i'm assuming these don't need darkness so yeah if these don't need darkness we're good does Eva catch a stream but only because you're sick oh no that's never good okay so oh <laughs> the chewy one dude welcome back FTV skies yeah welcome back dude good to have you back I'm having I'm having pretty 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 good fun with it it's definitely a challenge. It's like keeps my brain from working. One, two, three, four, five. Let's do this. Let's just do a little three by three pad. Like this, right? And then we'll have our vector plates. Right? And then that should work just fine. Um, and then we'll have it flow into this. Right, and that's where the kill chamber will be. Almost fell off. Dork. Huh. Oh yeah, I have a villager in my inventory. I was like, what was that noise? We just need this too high to make sure that like blazes don't like fly up all over the place. And then we can do... Actually, this needs to be... Turned. Like that. Might as well even have this like that. Because it's the only place things can spawn, like, guarantee this is going... This should, like, spawn the mobs quite frequently. We just stand back. Enough to get us some, some like, easy blazes. I think that'll work, right? That should be enough height. Huh. We'll see. Let's figure out where our point we should stand at is at. So... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. It's like roughly right here. But summon Blaze? Oh my god. Where did this dude come from? Huh. I can't. I can't right now. where that guy came from though what did he spawn on do we have light around the portal it's all slabs the top of the portal slabs Uh, 
Everything has slaps. Okay, we've got to go back. So I do need a blaze rod. Blaze rod would be nice. You say there's more exciting packs coming out for 112 than 116. I hey. I have fun playing them. I don't I don't know. I'm not like a service. Like I'm not like a service that like is like, hey, play this. You know? I kind of look and I'm like, what what seems interesting to play? And I'm like, oh yeah, I'll play this. Problem with playing older mod packs is there's usually no continued support for a lot of mods in that version. If you ask a ton of devs, they'll be like, I ain't still working on 112, you know? I might steal one of my cursed earth. I'm going to steal it. I have nothing against like 112. I there's a lot of fun packs that were in 112. I have a, I, the problem I have is I have spent the last couple of years following along with all of the updates of of mods, and there's been a lot of changes that have happened to these mods, and trying to go back and play a version and have to kind of tell my brain, oh hey, these features don't exist, or maybe not even knowing that these features don't exist, that I've been used to playing with, can be very, very confusing. And would be very confusing to me. Hopefully that's understandable. Take some emergency chorus. Still don't know how that guy even spawned.
wonder if the height is something that's a problem. Oh, shoot. We got a piglin. I need to probably get rid of this and do like a smaller slab, like another slab. Like that. Um, hmm. Is this gonna like force baby spawns? Being two blocks tall? Interesting. All right, I do want to get down under here. That's going to be a problem, isn't it? Nothing like working in this dimension. Okay. Uh -huh. Under here, we'll have this block. So this guy's not mad at me. Is it because I have glow, uh, the glowstone chest piece? Okay, I've got to go run back. This is a slab, right? I need to get some cobblestone. Mobs can spawn in the portal itself. Oh, that maybe that's where it spawned was in the portal. Just gotta prepare myself for that. Okay, cobble. That should give me some more space underneath to build a little redstone circuit. Then hope that we have enough room. Uh -huh. Okay, why can I not? Okay, that works. It does work. He's looking at me like so confused. Like, what's going on there, bro? What's going on there, broski? He's like, hello. Hey, I'm uh, taking your stuff. Hopefully you don't mind. Don't mind me. Just taking your stuff. All right. Solid block there. Redstone. Ooh, I hear a blaze or something. I hear something. Should probably eat chorus fruit just in case. I get knocked off. Need to pop on the other side. Sounds like a blaze. I'm sorry, bud. You've got to go. As much as you're a friend. You need to go. Okay, we'll read the redstone signal from here. set up a spike for this what you ordered a chicken and an egg online but you don't know which one will come for that is somebody just told me that joke the other day what in the world what in the who put a drop bear here they need to get absolutely wrecked right now 
Whoever thought a drop bear was a great idea. Can we remove drop bears from the loot pool? From the, the roll pool? Freaking drop bears. Gotta be kidding me. Holy smokes. Is that enough blaze rods? Oh my god. Freaking drop bear. Can we do anything with the drop bear? There's my rods. There's a gym. Fire essence. And inner pearls. Okay. Blame Alex. Dude, you know what? What's the drop bear claw give me? A tendon whip. Gross. That's just gross. Why is it so gross? Why is Alex's mob so gross? You know what I'm going to do today, chat? We are going to build a whip from the tendons of our enemies. And you're going to enjoy it. We got sulfur, though. I think this is a pretty good farm. Like, if we just set it up maybe a little bit bigger. Uh, the drop bears, I don't think we can really control. But, like, if we do, like, poison spikes and we do a hopper. We can probably make, like, a little safety area. And then we just collect the goodies. I will have to turn off the redstone, though, because that's going to get... This is going to be hard to deal with, I think. So they, they spawn on the roof. <laughs> Don't you do it. Maybe I'll double slab the roof, actually. They're kind of cute. You got a morbid sense of... Well, I don't know. Attract... Attraction? Morbid... Morbid attraction. Do they spawn on slabs? I don't know. I'm just going to put another row of slabs up there. You want to pet them? I'm sure they want you to pet them. You know, they, 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 they scream, come cuddle me. They just scream, cuddle me. Something about them. This is our wonder box. Our box of wonder. All right, Redstone, you've got to stop for a moment. I got to clear these out. Um, we could use a gold chest out here. That actually might work. A hole of wonders. Okay, so this has got to go. We'll put the spikes here, but I'll put the spikes in after we get our hopper in place, which is going to be a little hard to do. Please don't spawn. Please don't spawn. Please don't spawn. Be quick with this, Chosen. Be quick. Be quick. Be quick. Be quick. Be quick. Put a chest. Put a chest chest, a hopper, spikes, 
eat some fruit. Spikes. Cobble. Vector plate. That should work. Hopefully the hopper actually collects the items. Oh yeah, we need an ender inhibitor. Yeah, we probably want that. Definitely want that. The hole of glory. Oh god. It's the mob hole. The 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 nether mob hole. The nether hole. Ah, oh. that's right. This is going to cause us some, some problems, isn't it? Um, water. We need a crystal. Please infuse. We also need a mana steel. I don't know if I have it. Am I out? We need water. One large water coming right up. Neo, welcome. Darkon, well, or Drac, Dracon Wolf Tanzer. Hello. What's Man of Steel again? Uh, what is this? More efficient to make blocks. It definitely is, isn't it? Interesting. I'll keep that in mind. Why does straw pair spawn in the nether? Because it's down under. Oh, good God. Hey, you're in my, you're in my area. Okay. I mean, if anything, we get, we'll always need this inhibitor in the nether if we set up another farm. This farm, I think, just works without us, though, in the nether if we chunk load it. Like, this should just work without us being here. Which is honestly kind of broken. But I love it at the same time. I love it, but I hate it at the same time. Nothing's going in the chest because nothing's being collected. I don't know why. Okay. Is the hopper going to collect it? Okay, hopper. Or is it just going to build items up? We have a magnon. We're going to need an absorption hopper. The hopper is being redstone locked, but it should unlock. It's never like unlocking. These guys aren't being pushed into it. Like what? Why are they not getting spiked? What?
Well, at least we fixed this problem. Now we just need a uh, absorption hopper. Something of a mob, uh, mob granny utils. Enjoy yourself. It's very good. It's very good. God, I need a backpack desperately. We'll get one. We'll get one. We'll get one. Um. I think this will make my life a little bit easier having access to blaze rods and stuff. So the piglins, so they don't get actually harmed. Interesting. They're not being harmed by the spikes. That's odd, isn't it? No, they don't hurt players. Where's our blaze rods? Does it, do we not get blaze rods from this? I mean, bla I guess blaze rods are like a low chance, right? All right, so I've got to maybe look into a better way of hurting them, possibly. I mean, out of everything we're doing right here, this is probably one of the simplest things we could be doing today, but use emotional damage. <laughs> I'll just start talking about their past marriages. <laughs> uh, remind them of their past uh, transgressions. <laughs> Tell them they need to start exercising more. <laughs> just hurt their feelings. I just, I don't want to do that. That seems disturbing. All right, let's see. Let's use a mob. Also, um, I should probably check on my CRs. This guy's probably crushed all of this, so. We need more. We need more. More passion. More energy. We need more mage bloom fibers. We need all the mage bloom fibers. Thankfully, that guy works for free. He works until he dies. That's honestly kind of horrible. Um, well, we have iron now, so we can make this. This doesn't count as player kills, but... Blaze rods don't rely on player kills, right?
one way to get an abundant supply of these guys, I guess. This is also going to collect experience. There we go. No blaze rods, though. So now we're going to need an experience tank. Um... Or the vector plates just aren't... Fa okay, they will eventually get them, though. Okay, good, good. So it does work. So this is producing sulfur. They do produce blaze rods, but it's like a 0 to 1% chance. Pretty low. It doesn't say that they drop sulfur. That's interesting. It doesn't show. I mean, they dropped rods when we killed them, but I don't know if it has to be player kills. That's why I'm kind of con I'm kind of confused. Does it have to be? <clears throat> oh, the rods do say killed by player. Oh, it does. Okay. So, huh. So we are going to need a masher, yeah. Huh. You wonder how Dyer did this? I have no idea. I don't think I'd watch that. Uh, I'll see. This isn't too bad. Can use pedestals to kill mobs. Oh yeah. Dyer set up a piglin trading booth for blaze rods. But don't we have to trade it? We have to trade it gold, right? Yeah. You get a lot of random crap from it as well. That's one of the reasons why I didn't do that. This guy. Yeah, gold. I mean, we are producing gold now. I should just get some of this smelted up real quick. And then we can crush the stuff we produce later on. Pedestal killer is really good with Apotheosis enchants on the sword. Does it consume the, the weapon, though? No, that's interesting. Just a killer Joe. Oh man, remember Killer Joe? That was from uh, uh, that was from Ender IO, right? It was Killer Joe was Ender IO. 
Oh man. That's some memories. Can you believe it's been like several years, like six years or more since 112? Holy smoke. Since like the modded community was all in 112. Do you just not want to think about it like me? Because I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. I just, just don't want to think about it. Fine. This is going to get us gold. So once we have this up and running, it's just going to passively produce gold for us. So is Ender.io still being updated? From what I know, it's still being updated. It's being worked on for 112 or 120, I mean. Seems like it's working. There's a lot still being worked on. I don't think Killer Joe exists in the 120 yet. Oh, uh, it's been like since October. Maybe they're taking a break. You know, not always. You know, it's hard to stay current, you know, active on a project for an extended period of time. Oh, yeah. If you put the schematic cannon next to the lectern. Yeah, yeah that's nice. That is nice to do. So yeah, we're going to definitely need this redstone. This thing's not too bad to make, but I did see the upgrades are pretty crazy. I wonder how many times I have made... A mob masher. I wonder how many times I've made a mob masher. I mean, it's got to be up there. Like, I, I've definitely made one in every mod pack I've played for the most part. our infinite gold. We don't have sophisticated storage in here, right? But we do have backpacks. So once we get the ability, once we make a backpack, then we'll be able to do it. So yeah, for a simple farm, this should work out pretty good. Let's hope that we now get... Other things. Drawer controller? Yeah, but the, the cool thing with the sophisticated storage is I could have it one centralized chest for a farm like this, and I could get rid of, like, for example, miniature hearts. Maybe I didn't want them, right? Going me a blaze rod. Okay. Guess we'll just let it run. Just let it do its thing.
Mm. How expensive is the looting upgrades? Pretty, pretty expensive. What does it feel like because I added that? There's, there we go. Yeah, getting rid of the swords would be just nice. Well, actually, do we have a salvager in here? <gasps> we have this. I like this. I like, like that we can drop an anvil and obsidian and it and with a book and it drops all of the enchants. I love that. So maybe we can get enchanted stuff, possibly. This could be a way to farm some easy enchants early game. So there you go, we're farming them. And we should be able to like come back and hopefully not have a flood of items everywhere. Oh no. Wait, so if I made this a little bit bigger, we would have wither skeletons spawning in here? No way. Doesn't need darkness. Maybe it works better in complete darkness. Oh, <gasps> wither skeletons! Oh my god! Now we got wither skeletons. Woo! Put some torches on the portal frame. We're about to we're about to have our R's book. We're gonna see how expensive some of these things are to get on our R's book, because we just made a tier two R's book, which unlocks pretty much everything except for Blink. And what's preventing us from going even higher than that was just Blaze Rod. So now we got a tier two spell book. What prevents us from going even higher? Another star, tribute. What is this? Essence of Vanquished Foes? Oh, so it's basically the same thing. Wait, no, it's not the same thing. This doesn't require the wilden? Wait, no, this is a tier three spell book. It costs a tier three spell book to make this. Recipe, what? That's confusing. Was it FTB Skies 119? How do you have the bookworm storage? Because it was in 119. I even showed it in my FTB Skies series. I showed the book bookworms and stuff. I, I did. It was near the end of the series, but I did show it. Which that series wasn't very long, so it was like 30 some episodes. Believe it or not. I did show it though. All right, so now we have this. Um. need a tank what kind of tanks do we have that can store XP oh my favorite tanks are gone from here Looks like we're making... Wait. Oh! What? <laughs> what? No! Dang it! We can't make it, chat. We can't make jelly babies. 
Dang it. Who would have done such a thing and removed my favorite tank, the Singularity tank? XP tap doesn't seem that bad. That's an oversight. <laughs> Look at me just finding all the oversights. You'll fix that tank today. <laughs> uh, we'll just make regular tank and we can just use a tap. For now. Um, and then we'll do... You want me to store it in an obelisk? Uh, we can. Is, uh, is it infinite in the obelisk? How expensive... Let's see. I have to like figure out the wand and stuff. I always hate doing this. Pedestals. It's only downside with the pedestals mod. I, as much as I love it. Um, fertilizer, planter. Harvester, milker, shearer, drain, pump, drop, convert, recycle, bottler, unbottler, fan, attacker, breeder, packager, unpackager. I don't see the experience. Am I missing it? Oh wait, there is an XP obelisk. I'm a dork. I'm a, oh my God, chat. I'm, I forgot about the obelisk. Oh, I forgot about it. That's the problem. That's what happens when I play too many packs. I think this costs, um, uh, I think this costs crystallized, but I don't have it. Maybe I can just use the one I have. We can use the one I have. I can just always grab buckets of it out of here. I don't remember if this retains its, uh, if it retains, that's amazing. I think it does re retain, right? Plus one, that's 33 levels. Oh, it retains. Oh, that's fantastic. Okay, good. Perfect. I don't think that works. Ah. 
Does the obelisk pick it up? Because I can do that, which I have done that before. It just, it's a, it's a weird process. Did I put the tap? I didn't bring the tap with me, did I? That's what I, that's what I had to do with it. I'm surprised it just doesn't collect it directly. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I don't want to deal with you right now. I thought it would accept all liquid types and auto convert it into a singular one, but maybe not. This is how I've done it in the past, but I also have to keep make sure that it, the obelisk itself is or the the node isn't picking the experience back up, which you can do. And then you create a loop. Might need to pipe in. What if I pull, like, retrieve, retrieve all? No. This is fine. This is fine. So long as mobs don't spawn on it. Is this part of Tetra? Looks like we're gonna be able to kill the wither soon. All right, let's take a look. Yep, we can kill the wither. Chat, you want to kill the wither with me? Heck yeah. And then we'll kill the Wilden. Do I have someone somewhere safe to kill the Wither? I mean, we can make it. Always, we always figure that out. Um, mob. Like, we always have this. If you pipe it, it works, but if you directly try to output it, it doesn't work. That's weird. Huh. It's also, that must be, the, there's the same issue with it, doing that in 120. Because huh. I had to do the same thing for it in 120. Huh. Yeah, I mean, we have the ability to fight the Wither. Uh, I think a star, like, wands, like, we'd be able to make this. Which would be nice. Um, we can make beacons. A tool booster from Tetra. I've seen this. The transmutation table from Alex's mobs. This thing apparently can, like, convert items. It doesn't tell you what they can convert, right?
I think it explodes when you pick it up, too. It's kind of like it'll swap one item to another. Very weird. It's weird, not super useful. Hmm. All right. This would be good for ignores players when, if we. However, we get into those. All right. Anyways. Um, so I needed the blaze rods to make the R's armor to make the R's book actually worthwhile. Because uh, the R's armor is very important. Even if we can get it to tier two armor, that would be great. I don't know what the requirements are for tier two armor, but uh, let's take a look. So I haven't made any spells yet, but here, if we take a look at this, the okay, let's highlight this. This is the this is my favorite gear. So what do we need to make this? So it's just regular iron gear, right? Surrounded by this, that'll get us our base, and then this gets upgraded to tier 2 via this. And tier 3 requires Proto Chorus and also requires us to go through that mana fabric stuff. So just, just getting to tier 2 though is great. It's still great. It still gives us a lot of abilities. Um, and I think with tier 2, like we're just like with maybe some other upgrades from ours. I don't know what all else is here. Oh, Artifice is in here. Okay, I found Artifice has some pretty cool things you can do, if I remember correctly. Um, if I remember, let me do Lapis. Make sure we have plenty of that creating. Why not Mage Armor made from the Diamond Armor? Okay, so with ours, right? With our, so ours, you have to balance your magic. So there's actually a reason for me to not craft this. So if we take a look at the Battle Mage Hood, you'll see we have 30 max mana. I believe there is a difference. 30 max mana, plus one mana regen on this. On our Mage Helmet here, we have 30 plus one. Um, I believe on the chest piece, this is 30 plus one. Is it all the same? I thought it was different. Could have swore there are differences. Maybe there's not? It's the number of threads. Okay. Yeah, I think we get more threads out of the base one, maybe, then? I forget what the, what the reason was. Maybe there isn't a reason. Maybe I should just make the Battle Mage gear. I also like the look of this gear over everything else. At least now, Battle Mage just seems better. What's it look like when we upgrade this? So this gives us... So let's take this gear. Can I... Okay, let's take a look at what it is at tier two. So there's our tier two. Battle Mage Hood at tier two. Battle Mage at tier two. Battle Mage at tier two. 
If they're all exactly the same, I'll just make the diamond because it's more protective. Okay, so at tier two, it's 60, 60, 60, 60. 60, 60, 60, 60. It's all the same. Uh, two, three, three, one, two. One, two. So we actually have more thread slots. Way more, th way more higher tier thread slots. So we, at tier two, we get a tier three thread slot. Uh, and that, uh, what the? Wow. Is that a new event? Is that a new event? It was a creeper event. Jesus. Well, all right. Anyways, so that that's that's the main reason. So I would rather have this. Believe me, with the enchants and stuff and apotheosis, this gear is god tier for right now. But that tier three empty spell uh, thread slot, unless threads have been significantly nerfed, threads are going to be great. Uh, specifically the thread of magic capacity, I believe. Thread of magic capacity, I believe, is the main one. Thread of magic capacity. This one. Yes. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Um, there is also the thread of the Drigme, which is amazing. Thread of spell power. Also really good. This one I want, but I... Ooh, we can actually get that. <laughs> there is a way we can get Rabbit Hide. I just I haven't even used it yet. Um, What other thread do I want before crafting up this gear? Thread of Chilling. Flex Freezing on targets. Uh, don't need that yet. We definitely need the Thread of Repairing. Thread of the Wixie increases the duration of potions. Thread of kindling, damages cause me burn. It's like these effects uh, stack when, uh, per level that we have of the thread slot. Threads are not nerfed too much. Good, good, good. Thread of gliding is an elytra. Reduces the amount of damage taken by a flat amount each level. Definitely worth it. So I think those are some of the main ones I want. Increases saturation of consumed food. That one's also a pretty good one. Uh, I don't think we have this, though. So we can't get uh, some of the ones that require shards, unfortunately, but these are, some these are some major ones that are really good. Threat of spell power. If we can also put one of those on, would be really good. Threat of life drain. Can't do that one that requires a Skull Catalyst. I think we have all of those. Okay. And the alteration table should be good. All right. We are on, a, on track, chat. We are on track. Now we're diving into the Ars Nouveau magic. Scribes table. We need two of them. One of them. Turns into an alteration table. Oh, I was going to test if this outputs these items. It does. Okay, good. <laughs> That'll come in handy later. Oh, I hate how these place.
Uh, I need this one actually near this. That'll work. <laughs> And he already knows that? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it'll pull from this. Okay. So we already got some. We got our water. We got a harm. Pretty good. Ooh, we got animate block in here. Access our ender inventory. Chaining? Uh, so break. Uh. These are going to cost some levels. Oh, it looks like we still have that level thing where when you go from dimension to dimension. Oh, I already know this spell. Oh, is that default? I forget. Oh, well, um, amplify. That's the one. You can't actually successfully spawn swab living blocks. It'll crash server. Hmm. I mean, I wouldn't want to do that anyways. Firework star gunpowder. Gold nugget. I'm gonna die. Uh, for those who know about modding, should I learn Forge or Neo Forge, the new standard? I would say Neo Forge is going to be the new standard. So, might as well get a heads up on Neo Forge. And get your learning brain together. Because people who are currently using Forge, uh, according to Soren, are going to have some growing pains as they adjust to moving to uh, Neo Forge. But I would assume Neo Forge is probably going to be the... Uh, the new standard moving forward. Who knows? I mean, I, I, I would just assume that. If all of Forgecraft right now is utilizing it, probably. Amplify 2? <laughs> Wait, what? There's an Amplify... What adds too many glyphs? There's an Amplify 2. Okay. It's very mana intensive. Yeah, but amplify, like, so it's intensive here, but on spells, using spell turrets, that you can cut the spell cost in half? Amplify three? You didn't think about that. Yeah, spell turrets can utilize this stuff. Maybe harm can do some damage. Yeah, harm is always it harm has never been like the meta, that's for sure. Harm has always been pretty bad. But there are other combinations. I love that we have the randomize. I don't know why it's pink carpets though.
but the randomized is actually really nice. So I want that. Trying to figure out what spell to use on an enchanted bow. Uh, and they are all mid. <laughs> explosion all AoE. Just put explosion first and then all AoE. <laughs> you will never need another TNT in your life. Yeah. That's probably the best thing to use on a bow. It's insane. You did that? I mean, it's 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 nuts. It's nuts. That's probably one of the best things you can do. I think if you do explosion and then sensitive. I think it only attacks mobs. If I remember correctly. Give me a second, Chad. All right, Chad, I'm back. Sorry about that. I know we're, as we're working on the ours, ours magica. <clears throat> My wife says she's dealing with some nosebleeds today, which is not good. And I bet that sucks. It was really dry last night in the house. Don't know why. This is weather changing. Uh, reverse. Does she often suffer from nosebleeds? No, no, not normally. So, no idea why she's having them. Okay, there's launch. We don't need launch, we need leap. I don't think we have any of those. I've not encountered any wildens, but we can spawn them in. 
Don't I have a ritual brazier? Didn't have I not used one yet here? I swear that we had one. And I thought I had used I had done a ritual. Maybe I have it, but Yeah, we should. Let's get some boots. There's some netherite boots. There's some netherite leggings. There's a netherite helmet. Our chest piece should be good. But I bet we have netherite chest piece too. This just gives us plus four health and knockback resistance. We get resistance when we get hit. Anyways. Yeah, you had a brazier. No idea. You left it. I thought I had used a brazier, but maybe... <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know what I had done with it. <laughs> There's no telling. It's... Yeah, no telling. How am I making essence? Is this the normal recipe? It is. Okay. I should probably... uh. How's the pack? Would you say it's worth starting? Um, you want a challenging experience with ours plus some tech stuff? Oh, yeah. This will definitely be a challenge for you. Also, the fact that it's a skyblock. Did this just spawn? You're my friend now. You're going to stay here, you glowy boy. Wait, don't they despawn? Hold on, do we have a name tag yet? Okay. Let's do this. What should we name him? Lights out. Fred. Why is it always Fred? Sparkly. I like Goober. I like Goob Goober. So it doesn't jump out of the water? I mean, it doesn't really matter. We name him Squidward. Does changing the color of this spell change the name tag? No. It's Squidward chat. Now I just got to give him a clarinet. It'll be good. Okay, back to figuring things out here. Um, what are some other interesting spells? We need Conjure Mage Light. For sure. Huh. 
you've been big on uh, on calling folks goobers recently. It's like such a non insult. I mean, it is an insult. You're basically calling them crazy. Because I'm pretty sure that's what goober is like me meant to to be. If, you, if I try, I don't think I can paste that into Minecraft, by the way. Crag. That symbol, I can't actually paste. See, it doesn't let you paste it into Minecraft. I don't know if it'll let me paste it here. No, well, it might be there. Yeah, just as I suspected. <clears throat> How's our bee doing? Ooh, we can probably shear. This is ready to go. Five out of five. Hey. We got three combs. This will be a quality of life change. Oh yeah, we need tough fabric though. Oh, that's a lot. Okay, um... think we have enough. Doesn't this use, uh, like, the, to do the tough fabric? It's just any stick. Hey, I think we have enough. This would be actually a way of getting decent powers through immersive engineering, right? Early on? I don't know how much how much immersive is in, in gated. But like immersive has some interesting ways of doing this. Oh, also, um I should probably be like dealing with this. But was this just popping out blocks of... What? That was confusing. Mm. 
the faucet just export blocks of cold coke? Big if true. It did. That was weird. It shouldn't be doing that. I don't know what that was doing, to be fair. That seemed really odd. <laughs> I don't think that's supposed to happen. Okay, and then this allows us to make a backpack, right? What is this? A scuba harm. Oh, Tropic Craft's in here. Wait, was Tropic Craft always in here? Interesting. This is like advanced leather. Because everything that uses leather now uses this. Huh. How big is it by default? Normal. Okay. And then to upgrade it. Iron sheet metal. And an iron chest. Okay. Big gains, big gains. To take this up requires this. Okay, so we can't get there. But this does give us two two slots to work with. Um, so a feeding upgrade, which is probably pretty expensive, isn't it? <laughs> uh, nice. It's fine. It's fine, though. I mean, honestly, this isn't that bad, right? No. 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 I don't know where my rice went, though. Mm -hmm. It's not that bad. Just requires a little bit of grinding through the Farmer's Delight stuff. I don't really need it, though, right now. I mean, I would love to have the auto thing. We just got a, a sheep. Just got a bee spawned in. Dropped a... Very fancy hat. Keep that in her backpack. Along with all of her other tools. Because now, chat, we have a backpack. That is so nice just for keeping our tools in here. Uh, we also have the, the tool mod, tool belt. Well, that requires regular leather. I meant to make this. I think the pouches are the thing that's expensive, right? I forget what the pouch is. I think they require, like, rabbit? Oh, no. It just requires gold. Okay. feed upgrade time. I don't know if I want to do the feeder upgrade right now. Because like, I mean, I guess it is a pretty good way of like getting your uh, your hearts up. Um, We did find Starmuckle shards, it looks like. Ooh, we might be able to use the Starmuckle shard to give us some speed boost even more. Hmm... Thinking, thinking. I think we need an anvil. All right, we need, we got to do this real quick. Um, and a site alloy. I know where things gonna need to be repaired, so I've got to go down here, get that repaired. Okay, you can go in here. Okay, we need more gravel going into you.
don't know what else the mana mesh gives us from other things other than gravel. Um, crush netherrack. Okay. Cinder flower. And blaze powder. Um, golden apples from leaves. This is like the main use for though right now. Okay. Oh, we get our other flowers. I think. Yeah, these are the other flowers that we need. So I do need to get some grass flowing into this. There's not a good way to do this, is there? Aside from like bone meal and shears. Has to be on regular grass. Hello? Can I not grow you on any of this grass? Okay, I guess it's got to be regular grass. I did, sir. <laughs> Yo. Um, Eben Radhi, Rad High. Thank you, by the way, for the Prime for two months. Welcome back. Appreciate you, my dude. Boop. Actually, I'm gonna need that. I'm gonna need that. Put you over here. Alright, so now we should be able to bone mill to get... There we go. Isn't it crazy? It feels like I'm just like bouncing all over the place with different stuff, but things will hopefully get a little bit more, more yeah, organized. I hope. Kind of need to run everywhere with essential storage. I mean, I'm fine with the running everywhere. That doesn't bother me too much. It's... I went in a hopper somewhere. Ew. There we go. There's all the flowers we need for that. Good, good, good. I'll have to come back and grab more of those. This allows us to make all of the stuff and make a better broom. These flowers right here. I'm still missing another one, though. Mm-hmm. 
uh, make an ours wireless terminal? Uh, you cannot. That was uh, fixed apparently early on. As not intended, apparently. Okay, first things first, we can bypass not being able to break stuff by making our break spell. Okay. So it'll be a touch, regular break. We're good. We'll create this. Let's uh let's make the spell rainbow. Why not? Now we can just up and break things. Okay, now silk touch. I believe silk touch is that a tier two spell? It is. It's an exact. Okay, extract. It's a silk touch. Be our guests. <laughs> that achievement. Huh. Steel blocks. All right. So I was working on pouches for a tool belt. Uh, pouches. We needed an anvil, so I needed iron, and we need gold plates. How are we doing on iron? We're running a little low. Back downstairs. Yeah, you can get it. It is gated. Yeah, yeah. I don't know how far you are in, but it's honestly not too bad. I, it it would it would be better if I if I wasn't just hurting for space right now. Um, things will get better though. Okay, so I was about to make the brazier. I'm, I'm still working on spells, and then we're gonna make the armor. All these things take time. And what's funny is when I record videos right for things like this, it's like it happens instantly. It happens instantaneously. You don't see me waiting for anything uh it just, you just don't see that it's just kind of funny oh i need to grab the plates I was reading chat, jump right into a cactus <laughs> with dingus. All right.
There's our tool inventory. This will be kind of helpful. Um, okay. So, we have a enchanted sword already. What would be some good things to put in this tool inventory? Hammer, wand for sure. This wand... Knife, maybe. Flint and steel, maybe. This will change as we go along. But these will all be super helpful. Good thing the heating cooled down. It was so hot in your office that we were going to die. No. Okay, that helped a little bit with our inventory clutter. It's going to be more helpful when we have, like, random tools from other mods in here, but for right now. Let's see, wand. We actually need another wand, right? We have, um, the pedestals mod. Oh, wait, the wand for the pedestals mod is literally right here. <laughs> the linking tool. Um, okay. So, things are getting cleaned up. Don't think we need a shield, but I have it. Okay. Well, inventory looks a lot better, doesn't it? Okay, that's now stored. Perfect. All right. So some other R spells, right? We were going to look at um, getting these things. So, uh, brazier. We need a brazier. So let's craft that real quick. lost someone. Nightmare. Why are those little dudes so violent? I don't know. It's an embodiment of you, you chat. Okay. Um, so we need to salt, we need to spawn in the wildens. What in the world? Go. Did you just try to hit me and died? Like, it failed. Failed miserably. Okay, so we should be able to do this. We need a sword. Couple swords. Couple bows. Uh, we can use the R spell. I really don't have any spell yet on it, but I'm... I could make one. We can just put, like, harm on it. So let's do, let's just do harm and amplify. Twice. And then we put harm and amplify on that. Let's spawn some wild in chat. Some of these mobs suck. This guy sucks. Oh, I do need to have... Oh, I'm, I'm missing... Hold on. I need, uh... I need this on. Hold on! Quit hitting me! Hold on! Hold on. I'm after you. Should get bonus loot now, because we have looting. 
Not always are we going to get the, the ones we want. Sometimes you may get those. These are the ones I want. Okay, so there's the wild wings. I don't want you, spiky boy. You big spiky boy. I want you. Oh, big spiky boys kind of suck. Okay. You remember when those thorns used to cause an infinite loop crash? I don't. So we got three Wilden Wings. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's a start. Um, so now we should be able to make my favorite spell, which is Leap. I have to go grab some more experience from our uh, our awful farm. It was a 112 bug. Wait, there's ours wasn't in 112. Ours started in like 116. All right, there's our leap. Ars Magica, maybe? Maybe? I don't even know. if Was Ars Magica in 112? I think it was 1710. Alright, now if I can create my dash spell. Uh, self. Leap. Bounce. We're good. We probably want one amplify, but that's kind of expensive, so maybe we don't. We hit it with one bounce. And then options, controls, keybinds. Um spell slot one. No. Why is it default wait, that's elemental. Hold on. Spell slot two, slot five. Okay, so look how expensive it is, by the way, right now. Pretty expensive. Pretty expensive. But we're about to make it a little cheaper, I think. About to make it a lot cheaper, especially once just having our robes on in the first place is going to be insanely nice. So, okay. Um, let's grab some more of the mage fibers. We can use these pants. These have plus one luck. Use the helmet. Which ones do I want? Are these both the, th the same? 200 healing received, 200. Physical damage reduced by 9%. These are the same. Let's go make some armor. Usually have the leap spell inscribed on a mirror. Constantly keeping your inventory. Ooh, that's actually a good idea. But I like I like having a spell button. I like having a button that I can assign, and I don't think you can do that on the mirror. I think though the mirror would be cheaper because you wouldn't have a self. You would have a self assigned, so it possibly would be cheaper. The mirror, the mirror takes a single spell. The, the mirror will take a bunch of spells all together. 
but it casts to the user, so you don't have to have self. It's it's an innate self. Think he means one at a time? What do you mean what means one at a time? One spell at a time? Oh yeah, it's like one whole spell. Yeah, yeah. You never know. I don't I don't know what people's knowledges are. Rune Arcanus Pants of the Four Leaf Clover. Isn't it like close to St. Patty's Day? What? Oh, chat. What color? What color should we dye our gear? I think this version has the colored gear, right? This is the. Yeah, this has the pretty gear. What? What color? We've done black. I think I've done the white gear and I think I've done orange gear. So that leaves me with a couple of other colors. I've I've tried brown. I didn't I don't think I really cared for the brown color too much. It looked very similar to the orange. There's pink. Does this have R's elemental? I think it does. We we won't be able to get through the R elemental stuff right now though. I don't know. Did we find did we find netherite? We found seven netherite. Hold on. It does not have ours elemental, actually. I don't think. No, it does not. I think we figured that out last time. Yeah, I don't think it does. No. So, um wonder what color. Light blue? I dare say sky blue. Oh, that's a good idea, actually. Light blue. That's not a bad idea. Isn't it cool that they, they made this not require a mortar and pestle? Ooh, that's an interesting color. very snazzy it's not bad i actually wish it was more actually like the items color but it's actually not too bad on doesn't this have Oh, no, it doesn't. That must be a 120 thing where you can swap your gear with right click from any inventory. It's not as bright as you imagine. Well, we can change into any other die. I have no problem experimenting right now. There's cyan, which I think I've used cyan. You can't change the yellow. The yellow is always going to be there. If you could change the yellow color, that'd be pretty cool. I'm almost positive we can't like change that that color. So here's what white dye looks like. Which white? I think the white armor and the black armor look really good. Yeah, there's no like split. You wish the armor had color sliders like the spells. Ooh, that'd be cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the white armor actually looks pretty dope. That that doesn't look too bad, actually. I mean, yeah, with all of her baubles enabled, it looks kind of goofy. But already, with just this gear on alone, 
Now our dash spell is a bit more usable, right? Just with this. And we haven't even upgraded it to tier 2. So, let's upgrade it to tier 2, right? We need blaze rods. So, let's go grab some blaze rods. How much experience we got? 55 levels. Look at that. And then we also have this to worry about. Like, this is a problem, right? We have no good way at the moment of fixing this. We are getting enchanted stuff, so I'm actually, like, down to keep this. Keep most of this, but... It's a pretty productive farm right here. Look at that. Take those fire shards. We're getting air shards. We're also getting sulfur. Slowpoke joined. Ah, darn Slowpoke. What's he doing in here? What's he doing in my game? I'll have to teach him, teach him how to play the game. I'll have to teach Slowpoke how to play modded Minecraft again. Wait, is that a meme? Of course it's a meme. I'm in a single player world. <laughs> yes. What are you using to for the killing in the mob farm? Well, this mob farm, I'm using punji sticks, but we found that those don't work in the nether, so I'm using a mob masher from Mob Granny Utils. Right, this is going to cost some source, I believe. Oh, does it cost source? Yeah, it does. No, it doesn't. Right? No, it does cost source so now we're at tier two this opens up some thread slots very powerful now just getting to tier two is is pretty good tier three is really really nice but tier two with uh with these increased spells and then also making some of the bobbles we're about to make this is going to be god tier 100 percent worth doing this like if you haven't done this yet in your playthrough you need to you will not regret having that spell book and having these these things are going to make your life so much easier. You really are. Really, really are. Shows that if there's a brass funnel, you could probably just filter armors and uh, check it out to the bottom chest in the void. True. Yeah, I probably could. Could do that. All right, now with this equipped, now we can really see the the bonus because we just got a buff in the amount of mana and we just doubled our mana regen again. We just doubled our overall mana and our mana regen again just from doing that. So now when I use this, like it's significantly faster at regenerating, but it gets even crazier than this. This doesn't even have, like, the Amplify on there. The Amplify on. Bounce. Now we go way further for each one. And we can basically stay hovering in the air with this. Like, once we make our other charms, I would almost feel comfortable using this to fly through the air. Bounce is really expensive. Well, we can do something about that. If you don't want the bounce, you can duration down the bounce. Um, and I believe that actually makes it cheaper or the uh, dampen. If you do dampen.
Oh, we have that XP bug right now. Um, mm -hmm. When you go from dimension to dim dimension. I believe dampen will actually reduce the cost. So yeah, if we dampen... Oh, we can't dampen the bounce. Hmm. I mean, it's not a huge deal. It's not expensive enough to to worry about. At least I don't I don't think it is. Time to make threads. This is gonna make things even more powerful. Uh, so we need one, two, three, four, five, five threads. So five of these. Okay, and we're gonna need this one, Mage Bloom. Let's start with this one first. Alright, so Mage Bloom, Essence. We have most of the essences. We're gonna need another water essence. This one requires all of them and the water. Slow fall is way cheaper than bounce and more useful. Not if you're trying to get to somewhere fast. It's not more useful. Slow fall is slow. Like, you you literally fall super slow. Oh, that is still so expensive. Like, it just not... It still takes a long time, even with it receiving all of that mana. This is because I'm doing a full block worth of it. You can just leap towards the ground. Oh, I guess you could. I mean, so, so long as you, like, maybe with the slow fall, you, like, you set it up so that way the slow fall is a little bit uh, better. Like, a little bit shorter. Um, Because just having slow fall for an extended period of time is kind of, kind of lame. All right, I think that's it for the threat of spell power. Um, oh wait, we need a uh, we need this one. Starbuckle shards. We have it. We have it, and we have wild and horn. Let's get a functional storage drawer. And we get a polar upgrade. Viewment chamber, and then we need some more pedestals. I I love ours though. Like ours is so good. I, some people absolutely hate it, and I think it's just maybe because they haven't learned it fully. You know, I feel I feel that's like a big possibility. They just haven't learned the mod. This this mod is is fantastic. It adds some really neat in neat mechanics. You know. I don't know. It's really hard. Really hard to to hate on this mod. So we got the Starbuckle Shards, I think, is loot. Just something to note. Starbuckle Shards came from loot. Um, What else was this? Horn. Hmm. 
<clears throat> and I think that's the only one for this. And then that should be all of the essences required. Right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That should be eight. All eight slots being used. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. What's this one? We'll wait for that. Um, also, while we wait for it, we probably want to get one of them actually made. Did I lock these? I never did. Yeah, okay. Um, this would be something nice to actually have in my backpack. Alright, so this one is super simple. Oh, also, I probably instead of just letting this guy just die. Poor fella. Just letting you decay, man. I'll keep him in here. I'm <laughs> just letting him decay. I should have him processing up some materials while we're doing all this. Uh, I mean, I guess I could do that. Let's go ahead and do like, um... Do, 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 do. So I found this to work pretty good. Do an attribute filter. Um, and then we'll set the attribute fil- Stop! Why am I gonna keep doing this? Why am I keep doing this? Stop. What is wrong with me? Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, attribute filter. <laughs> um, and then we'll do raw ore. will be um you see we can do dust like gold forge dust tagged forge dust right here tagged forge dust we'll add it to the attribute and we will allow list and so it'll only allow that so an interesting little like setup that I wanted to do with this guy instead of using a hopper is this is something that I've done in the past is I got this uh let's see why is that all glitchy what in the world oh this is being caused by the rain thing. Okay. Um, I probably want to move this over here somewhere. Easier to access. I think I can place this little guy, for example, in this barrel. Put that there. It's wrong, facing the wrong way. I don't know where my create wrench went, but there we go. This is where we're going to put the attribute filter. And that is only going to allow those things in there. So we need a trap door. Trap door, trap door. Trap door, trap door. Break that. Um, and then we're gonna have, actually, trap door. We're gonna have a barrel right here. This trap door, not gonna be here. We need to put this funnel Actually, we need a regular andesite funnel. And this should hopefully only send one item at a time to be kind of hovering there. 
Okay. And this should be able to keep the little guy in here. Okay, well that's killing him. Well, now he's dead. Why did that spawn him up here, though? Uh, hold on. Oh, this needs to go up one more block. Whoops. He's so easy to make, I'm not super worried. There we go. That should work. I hate how Cree items go on everything. Okay, perfect. Uh, let's summon another one. Fallen little dude. I know, the poor little guy. Poor little fella, I am so sorry. My bad. My bad. I'll take I'll take the shade on that one. He did not need to go out like that. <laughs> Poor little dude. It was and a sight. Rip. I don't even remember what his name was. We should rename them. But then I'd get attached to them, and since they're, like, only here temporarily, like, the big one, yeah. The big one we could definitely rename. Can you not hit me? Okay. Well, the, hopefully this dude doesn't get, like, suffocated in the wall. Uh... I don't want that to happen, but this little contraption should hopefully keep the little guy in here. The bigger guy doesn't fit in here so well. Um, let's see. But with the shrink, we could actually shrink the big big guy down, and he would fit inside this. And so this is this worked out really really well for me in all the mods nine for the big guy, for making it super simple for the automation, where you don't have to worry about having a janitor clean up the items that he drops. Because they can be kind of weird having the janitor in there and the janitor wanders off. Because the janitor will want to pick up the items that you are, like, putting everywhere. So. It's always a weird thing, right? Hey, bud. Please don't die this time. Okay, so yeah. So the guy stays in here, and so long as we don't, like, mess with it with, like, a magnet, um, I really should make a magnet, uh, from simple options, controls, keys, magnet, toggle magnet, plus, that key is taken, what is using plus, add waypoint. Jade, Jade has a lot of, like, um, really cool functionality for, like, people who may be, uh, impaired or, like, blind, um, and things like that. It has some really interesting features. Like, you can read out what block you're looking at, I believe. One toggles it on and off, but you can set it up to, like, you hit a button and it, it tells you what block you're looking at. Honestly, I might want, let's see, options, controls, keybinds. I wonder if this will read it out to me. Hmm. 
narrate. Aries underscore windy. Health, 13. Drock Belkill. Health, 8. Armor, 2. Owner, chosen architect. See, how cool is that? How cool is that? And you can assign the narrator to that, and anything that shows up, it can narrate it out to you. Pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty cool. What is going on? We're just showing, I was just showing off the Jade. Jade being super cool. We'll keep one stack maybe. And then I should be able to toss this in here. And so long as my magnet's not on. This hopefully won't just like waste our ingredients. And this should be doubling it. So when this guy fully crushes one, he's going to drop it down here. We should be good. Also, this guy, I think, needs to crush obsidian and also needs to crush some uh, some other materials for us. Some instone. I think it's very exclusive. The higher tier we go up on this, by the way, the more it goes. So the next tier we'll do, uh, I believe it is four times? No, three times. Then the next tier up from that is four times? Because it goes up to six times ore processing. And then they get faster, too. They process way faster. Okay, back to the threads. Also, chat, I'm going to take a quick break. Hopefully you don't mind. <laughs> I'll be back. I'm going to take the quickest break. All right, don't go anywhere. I'll see you guys in just a moment. Enjoy the beer on back screen, by the way. Oh, God. I'm about to go. So, Daystar Zero. Oh, God. Join the Daystar. hype train chugga chugga. Woo woo. And burn oh 500 so biddies to keep it going. It. A sausage roll? What the heck's a sausage roll? What's a sausage roll? Sounds good, though. I don't know what it is. Like, like a breakfast sausage roll? What the heck is a sausage roll? That's new to me. <laughs> Stuff from immersive weathering, like ash blocks, it looks like. Why do we park on driveways and drive on parkways? I think it's enough internet for the day. Chicken legs, welcome back. So why do we park on driveways and drive on parkways? Ooh, I didn't account for this. Oh, shoot. We broke it again. This song, this song sounds like every song ever from the 90s. These emit light, right? I think they emit light. Yeah, 
If not, we can always do like a slab. They do? Okay. We can always do like a, tra a trap door or something or, or a slab, a frame slab. Why are you murdering the young ones? The ones that don't have textures, I do tend to, uh, to get rid of. I gotta move them. Can't sleep. Oh God. Well, what that was about. Okay. So, um, I should have trapped doors to another pump. Hey, let's make our life easier. Let's put this over here. All right, so this will be a, a great place for our source. I don't remember. Like I have the check mark, which means. It does let me complete it if I reset progress. Um, how have you hooked up those portals to fast travel? Uh, you take a scroll and you shift right click in world, uh, set the destination on the scroll, recommend name tagging the, or naming the scroll. Then you take a source jar, set it next to the R's bricks in a portal formation. It can be a one tall technically. Um, you have a full source jar and then you throw the, uh, you throw the scroll into the portal and it generates the portal. You need a full tank of source jar or full, full source jar for that. What? This is the same quest. Are these like linked some way? These branch out into warp scrolls. Hold on. Another portal shape. Play source but we can't like get them right now. Traded from a level two Lunarian. I don't know how to progress the, the thing. Do I just need to force the progression on it? Is it like broken? All right, hey, chat. I was building a totem. I'm back. Uh oh. Goodness, that train sound is something else, isn't it? Welcome back, guys. Welcome, welcome back. Okay, so uh, we got processes happening. We got resources. There's like 50 things we're working on all at once. So we're doing pretty good so far. <laughs> we're doing pretty good. At least I think so. Uh, let's go down here real quick. Make sure we got more resources of piping through. We don't have this automated yet. It is now off. Okay, that's okay. Um, plants look like they all passed through. And I was going to look at the brass upgrade for this, because that's going to be insane when we get that. If that's exactly what it's supposed to do. Okay, we'll worry about that here in a minute. But for right now... All right, let's continue working on our, our Ars Nouveau stuff. Uh, let's make a magnet. 
Never mind. Never mind. Uh. Well, it's not, it's not that bad to me. Lapis and brass. Actually, we can make that. Let's do that. Let's, uh. Let's do zinc. Copper. Okay. We'll do this. <clears throat> and then we're gonna we're gonna be able to get this. We'll get the threads done. We're just working on like five other things all at the same time. It's so much nicer that this only requires like like one now. Okay, we'll smelt that. And then we should be able to heat this. Uh we should be getting coal. Chosen's Discord's full of smart nerds. Yes, that is true. There is a lot of smart nerds. Uh, we don't need slurry. This is not going to be making liquids. I'm not worried about it. doesn't kill you will make you you hotter now oh interesting how's it going Carl you have you don't have discord uh you don't know how to use it discord Discord's pretty easy to kind of get into you can use it in your web browser which is pretty great uh think of discord as a forum that is much prettier and easier to use if you ever if you've ever used a forum before uh, but it's like a forum that is also uh, integrated with voice chat. So it's also like how Ventrilo, if you ever used Ventrilo or, or Skype, it's it's kind of like Skype. I guess the better thing would be to, to say it's like Skype. Um, it's like Skype, but it's free. Uh, if you remember Skype, uh, you, you had to pay to call, uh, I think, out cell phones and stuff. But uh, you can't call cell phones through Discord, but... You can talk to people from around the world through Discord. It's also similar to Slack. Yeah, Slack is also very similar. I think Slack is a lot less user friendly. I would say the the the, the big broad thing is like saying it's like S Skype because Skype was probably the most used thing after MSN or M yeah MSN message instant messenger. <clears throat> Oh, 100%, but work friendly. Yeah, it's, yeah, the Slack is, is work environment, definitely. Because you don't have, like, the different channels where you may not know. You can keep it, it very work specific. <clears throat> yep, yep, yep. Can't wait for the next episode of Steampunk. Did you watch the, the most recent one? So now there's two episodes of Steampunk out right now. The next one will be Sunday, and then the one after that will be Tuesday. So, something to keep in mind. So there's our brass. Uh, that's pretty nice. Let's also take like 16 of these and go ahead and press them because they're gonna need to be pressed. And then we were using this because we need to blend together this and Lapis. I think it was. Is this the only thing that's you going to be used for? It's used for a mechanical visor. This is the only thing it's used for. <clears throat> Mana steel plates. Oh boy. 
They're like, here's some more mana steel plates. We can find mana steel now, though, in the wild. So, yeah, we only need one of these. <clears throat> for now. Well, they made this whole recipe for one thing. So I may be slight sidetracking myself here by trying to do this. It seems like it's a little, little late, a little behind on that. Okay, so let's get fibers. That seems like something we'll have to do after. We have a magnet for now, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, and then the threat of repairing. Is that anvil, Kassain? So that anvil came in, in handy, I guess. It's an anvil with two manipulation essences. It's nice. Means we don't really need mending. Uh, air essence. And this is the rabbit hide. Um, okay. It requires two air essence. Rabbit hide and spider. Now, to get the rabbit hide, this is... Okay. There is an Easter egg. There... Oh, there's where my rice pinnacles are at. Okay. And here's the Easter egg. Yeah, these, these need to be cut real quick. Oh yeah, we put the knife in here. So, I'm gonna grab some rice real quick. Oh, let's put that back. We're about to get the rabbit. Um, let me go ahead and plant some of this rice, though. So now we got the, we got that going. Perfect. Should have enough wheat regrown. Um, why are you using that storage? Why aren't you using that storage for your sifted stuff? Um. Um, what do you mean? Cause I'm, cause I'm, I'm like, I got my own like priorities, I guess. <laughs> That's not one of my priorities right now. Probably cause it's not like super, it's not been super inconvenient for me to like go down there. I guess I could like hook another storage lectern. I think that's the issue is I have to craft another storage lectern. <clears throat> and I, I feel like it's so temporary being down there. 
which is also another reason. I think that's a big reason. Because it feels super temporary. I wonder how many people know that rice doesn't need to be underwater. Oh, wow. This bro just came out of nowhere. Rice doesn't need to be underwater. Please give me something good. Something I don't have. That's exactly what I actually have. I already have that. Can you not give me the repeats? God, this feels like destiny. Alright, so now we have our Easter egg. Right? Um, I think the best thing to do is to possibly do the Easter egg here. Or should I put it in a fence? I don't know how big of an area this spawns in. Sure, it'll be fine with the water here. They don't really move very well in water. All right, we're doing the Easter egg. I should probably keep like a couple of them, right? And put them in a hole. I should definitely put them in a hole. I need to go in like a deep hole though. That's not good. Yeah, that should be good. That this should be a big enough hole. This is happening. I need carrots, don't I? What in the world? Arm was augmented too many times? I know, but that's not what caused the explosion. Hold on, let's fix our, fix our harm spell. So this needs to be a harm and then a single amplify because this applies an innate amplify at the end. So that's why it's giving me that error. But um, anyways. loot pinata oh that's the freaking pinata working now holy smokes How do you find out who an admin is on Bedrock? I, I, I don't know. I don't play Bedrock. No idea. Probably look up the server. See if they have a website. That's what that explosion was. Scared me. Is that all the rabbits? <laughs> okay, uh, we got two loot pinatas off of these.
you're in a bad place. All right, so that was the Easter egg. I think we have a ton of rabbit now. Is this mod pack out? Yeah, it's on the FTB launcher. It's been out since I started playing it. I don't think... I typically don't play packs anymore on like YouTube and stuff that aren't fully released. We I did play it one day before, like a week before it was uh, released. But typically don't normally do that. Not anymore anyways. <clears throat> I used to. I used to. And I'm, I still might in the future, but... Okay. So back to making our threads. Okay, so we were making... We, we needed the rabbits for this. But now we have tons of rabbit, right? Three, and then an eye. So let's grab all of this out of here. I think that's it for this thread. And then we have thread of magic capacity, which is source berries. One, two, three, and then mage bloom. Uh, and I guess now it's it's time to threadcraft. Finally, after several hours, we are now threadcrafting. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then a thread. I really should clear this out. It's going to help restock her stuff. Alright, so there's a new thread. Let's do another thread. We need this. This is like one of the biggest threads that we can make. This one is very powerful. Alright, that's all of them. Conjuration essence we're missing. Ours mod has come a long way. You feel like a mod pack. It feels like a mod pack on its own. It is, it is a lot, isn't it? There are other mods, though, that have been like this. Like, that. I mean, RF to, our, uh, Ender IO. Just look at Ender IO for, yeah. for a moment, like, right? Like, how insane is Ender IO? It's like, it's pretty ridiculous, right? So... Where's your R's focus pack? There is R's focus packs. Yeah, there, there totally are. There's a Arcane Isles, I think. Is an R's mod pack that's in the sky. You need a pickle tweaks only pack. But there's data packs that let that some of the functionality exist. You're a poster modded player. You mostly only play mainstream packs. What are mainstream packs? You got me confused now. Maybe I'm out of the loop. The frick's a mainstream pack. Is Chosen's Modded Adventure a mainstream pack? 
<laughs> is that a mainstream pack? FTB packs and all the mods packs are mainstream? Okay. Interesting. Well, it's interesting to know. I don't think I've ever thought of mod packs as having like a mainstream. You realize like all the mods is a pretty small community of people. Uh, FTB is a very small community of people, just like Lunar Pixel Studios and like all these other like other pack devs. Some of the best mod packs I ever played was by like one person, like Cuvis, right? Who made um, <clears throat> some fan or, or Shivaski made it was like one person made our craft like. You know, Cuvis, for example, made uh, Exoria and and uh, a couple of um, other amazing packs early on. So. All right. So on our threads, um, so our chess piece has the three slot, the tri slot, and I think. We can do magic capacity on that slot. I think that's the best thing to put there. Is magic capacity and then a, a one slot. Let's see, everything else has, we have a two and a three. Our pants also have a three. Probably we'll do spell power on three potentially, or we can do the thread of heights. The thread of heights interfere with, um, with using elevators though. <clears throat> We could we could do warding that would reduce damage received, and then in our two slot we put a repairing. Spell power I think needs to go on three. Spell power is pretty important. Okay, there's those two. Look how much extra mana we have. All right, um, we have a two slot in our helmet. Okay, I think in the boots, I'm going to put the jump. The warding, I don't know, reduces the amount of magic damage taken. So it's magic damage, which would be like potions. It's not as important, I think, as repairing my gear is. Yeah, how much magic damage do I take, right? Exactly, like, I don't know. But this is this is nice, having this extra jump. And then, like, I don't take fall damage for quite a while. Like... Yeah, witches are about the only thing, like from the potions. But yeah, we can like get in here now and, and actually hop out. These guys breed like rabbits. It's crazy. We have another mob hole. <laughs> it just annihilates that mob. Okay. <clears throat> so, now we're looking pretty nice, right? We got a nice sword. We're, we've got some extra damage we're dealing. Okay, we're looking pretty good. We now got some threads. We can now dash a runo all over the place. All right, that's nice. That's nice. That's nice. 
Um, we have other spells that we can work on. I, I did kind of stop here, though, but... Like, on Tier 2, uh, is there anything great? We have the Crush spell, which is pretty pretty broken. Oh, I think we have the Smelt spell on here, too. Smelt spell is pretty nice. The wilded boss fight. I, yeah, we we are missing a totem of undying, and then we have to fight the boss and kill a wither to go to tier three. Tier three would give us blink. We don't have a re really need a need for blink yet. Blink would be amazing though. Yeah, we still have to make. Let's see. <clears throat> I don't know how expensive it is in here. Hopefully not too bad. We need the amulet of mana region. And then the ring of greater discount. Okay. All absolutely doable. There's also the Ring of Jumping. We have a thread for that, though. Um, we also There's also the Band of Levitation, but I don't know if we'll need that for anything. Might be helpful when dealing with Create stuff, though. I hate this thing, the Belt of Unstable Gifts. It's so goofy. I think because it gives you night vision randomly. It's a redstone relay, spell sensor. I'm sure we can come up with some really interesting spells. That's going to be the thing that's really great. We probably want an Enchanter's Wand that is inscribed with our Break spell with Amplify. Uh, then we'll we'll have a Pick and an Axe, everything all in one. I don't think we'll have Vein Miner with it though. That's that's really the biggest problem with that. Hmm. Is it only three years or four blast furnaces? It's four. So worth it though. So we'll make this. We should have everything for that. Also, I believe the more glyphs we actually consume the more overall mana we get like if i consume this in the bottom left okay so it doesn't it didn't inc did it increase i think it's supposed to increase your overall like stats unless that had changed may not be the same anymore okay there's the grow spell is also another one that i really want not enough xp let's go grab some xp
Remember, I want to keep the enchants. The ones that are enchanted, I need to keep. Everything else, not. I don't know if there's a... I wonder if there's a way to detect if it's enchanted. With an attribute filter. You know what, Chad? I have a genius idea. I have a genius idea. Oh, this is looting too on it. This is mana boost. in the way you're in the way bro broski hey you're in the way probably should have put that there What's the plan right now? Uh, to progress? <laughs> We're just working on, like, things. Just bits and bobs. I really... We, I mean, we have a kind of a main plan. Like, we've done this now. Uh, I do want to expand to move to the Sky Island. I think that was kind of the idea. So I kind of have an idea. <clears throat> we might be able to use Nether Portals temporarily to teleport over to the sky island hear me out that might be the best way to do it right now it's really not that far away it's like what through that like let's see we're at like if this is like a thousand blocks away 1745 divided by eight it's only 218 blocks that we would travel with a portal Hmm. Okay, so interesting. But yeah, I was just showing right there we can uh we can rip off enchants on anything. Anything that's got an enchant. So like even this with silk touch, we can rip that off. It's got mending, I can rip that off. So there might be is there stuff that you can craft that have innate enchants? I think there I think there are. There are things that just, when you craft them, they automatically have enchants. Oh yeah, gizmos as well, yeah. Bits, bobs, and gizmos. Gadgets, gizmos. Thingy-ma- thingy -ma who's That's what we're crafting right now. Alright, we need diamonds. This is worth all the diamonds to me. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. 
Okay. One, two. There's our ring. Um, this needs... So we need gems. Thank you, by the way, for the follows, guys. I appreciate that. 220 nether blocks. Yeah, that's not too bad. I have to build a nether portal over there. And ender pearls. And blaze rods. Okay. <clears throat> we are almost kitted out with Ars Nouveau. Chat. We are almost kitted out with ours. Okay, so let's first start with our ring. Four, two, two. Right, four, two, two. These are going to be like the final sauce, right? The final bit. It's going to be really good. Okay. There's the lesser discount. And then this is going to be even better. Two blaze rods. Two gems. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. One, two, three, four. Where did I get all those diamonds from? The Sky Islands. I went to two Sky Islands. Okay, there's our ring of greater discount. Reduces all spells by 20. And then when worn as a ring, we get one mana regen and then 10. That's pretty nice. Oh, nice. I caught you live. You did ca You caught me live. How dare you. How dare you catch me live. Yes, sir. Health. 18. Easer. Thank you for the prime. Appreciate you, my dude. You have the five months with the resub. I I did receive four diamonds in a row, though, from the goats. All right. Two gold plates, two diamonds, and then all the R's gems. So this is the regen we need. We want. I want the regen one. Uh, as much as the the overall mana is pretty good, I I want the regen. Yep, this gives us plus three mana regen. So now when we use the book, <laughs> now it costs less to do the spell, and now we are infinitely flying. Now, if I do the, if I just make it a slow fall instead of, if we add slow fall to it, it'd be even more powerful. I think if we don't have, if we don't have bounce, now it does insta regen. But you can insta die if you don't have some really insane fall protection. Uh, what is the slow? Is it a tier two? Slow fall. So we're missing wart? I don't know if I have wart. No, we do. We have wart. Okay, um, I, I'm just missing the ward, the wild and... Hmm? 
I just need some from you. That should get me, yep, some more Wilden. Wings. No. Poor dogs. Those are mean dogs, though. They're not, like... They're not the same dogs. Also, I went to go get XP, realized I didn't grab the XP when I just went... Oh, difficult me. <laughs> okay, so if I modify this with the slow fall. Now we're really flying. Do I have an elytra? No, do not have an elytra. Okay. Interesting. So that's that's even better. That's even better to be fair. I do like that. I actually do. I'll I'll get I'll get down with that. It's actually not too bad. Who was it that said to use this? Thank you. On my Ars Nouveau spellbook ride. Yep. All right. Uh, I think I'll be fine with this. Let's go to options, controls, key binds, V key. Make sure nothing is set to V. <clears throat> now some other interesting things I'm pretty sure if I remember spell let me look at this uh, this mod right here this is ours artifice I, I, I looked into this okay so yeah I can make a curio that automatically cast spells when certain events affect the player. Hmm. Mm. And then spell gems. Okay, okay, here's here's this. Spell gems. I think this is what I thought was really crazy. Spell gems allow you to cast spells without consuming your own mana bar. Spell gems have three tiers, increasing the amount of available mana within each of the spell gems before they break. Oh, we can't make spell parchments. Oh, wait, yeah, we can. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, we can. So we we make spell gems like this. What is this one? This one is the next tier. That's 500 durability. Does that mean we have a thousand uses that we can equip a spell to with one diamond? So if we make like a spell parchment, 
What spell would I want to, to have that's very expensive? Probably like a projectile. There's also like... Hmm. Can we see some Wixy automation possibly? It's something I've only dabbled with and like to learn more about. I don't know how to get Wixies right now. Oh, it's a witch, right? We have to like get a witch <laughs> down to like low health. And I don't even know where we'd get a witch unless we summon the witch. Can you summon witches in here? We need a lightning spell to convert villagers into witches. I don't see a witch spawn egg. Oh, that's right. The witch portal. Oh, that's true. Forgot about the witch portal. Keep in mind, I'm not playing this every day. I'm like, so I do forget about things that are <laughs> major parts. I am playing like three packs right now. What would we do then? Huh? Um, is it what? What spell is it again? Let's see. Wix. Wixy. Yeah. Dispel. We don't even have dispel yet. Let's get a bucket. There's still just so many. You know, when I played, uh, so I, when I played through FTB Skies, I went through chat and I literally made every spell that was available to be made in the spell book. By hand. Only to then later on receive a creative spell book that had them all unlocked. Yep. I made every spell. You don't know how powerful the Wixi automation is? It can be automated, or can be good. I, I don't even know about it very well. I don't think I've ever used it. I thought the Wixi just did... Oh, I guess the Wixi can... Can automatically craft items for you at the expense of source. To obtain a Wixie shard, cast a spell on a witch while is it half health or less. Once you have obtained a Wixie charm, the caller to summon a Wixie. A Wixie can be dyed red. So Wixie will select the recipe for crafting based on the inventories nearby you. You need not specify the exact materials for the recipe. For example, if you want to craft a sticks, the Wixie will mix and match planks from nearby chest in order to refill the recipe. Each craft requires a small amount of source. Be trained. To select an item for crafting, use your item or block on the Wixie Cauldron. I mean, I guess it, it would be pretty powerful because the Wixie could interact with this as the inventory. Wait, it does more than potions? Yeah, it can craft items. Did I just make the dispel? Where'd it go? Did I already use it? Did I not click it? Oh, I don't have the experience. Okay, that's what we were working on. 
goodness, chat. So this pack really opens up after a little bit, right? It really opens up. Well, even though we're limited in our stuff right now, the amount of things we have to kind of play with is kind of uh, a lot. Especially with like having almost full reign of ours. Feels really, really nice. Okay. Sensitive is important. I don't know if I have scaffolding. I think I grabbed some scaffolding specifically for this. Okay, and then dispel. All right, we're doing this, Chet. I'm just really interested in that spell gem. That seems like insane to me. Right from the artifice mod, it doesn't pull from your mana pool. Like keep that in mind. <clears throat> it just consumes durability. Right? And like, there are spells that are insanely expensive. And so, if it doesn't cost anything other than its durability, right? Me a second chat. Mm -hmm. I had to open my door real quick. I was starting to get lightheaded and I was like, maybe there's uh, maybe there's something going on in my office. Open the door. Some fresh air in. Yeah, like we could apply Amplify 3 to things, chat. <laughs> like, what the frick? And then it, we could just use it because we have those gems. There's like channeling, rotation, stay. No. My dogs are looking at me like, what the heck? The door's open? Can I come in here? This might be more powerful in like attack spells. What does Amplify 3 do? I'm assuming it amplifies the spell even more. That pours frankly ludicrous amounts of mana into the in effect. Flare? I do want to exchange. Uh, do I have enough emeralds for this? Yes. What was that? Wait, what? Did, wait, did my dispel not work? Is this broken or something?
What is going on? Wait, hold on. Oh, we're missing, uh, I was like, my brain, man. <laughs> I've seen it, it's so confusing when it floats up there, because the items that are being received also float up there. It's just easy to get confused. Okay, so did I guess it ate my emerald block? Oh no, I gave it to me in my inventory. <clears throat> Should get it crafted up. It's probably one of the most boring parts is just crafting these things. We could do underfoot. I love having all of these puzzle pieces. That way we can like put them together. Make some cool things for whatever need we have. It's another really cool thing about Ars Nouveau. Lay on hands. A context-sensitive blend of touch and self targets living, not monster entities by touch. Or self, if unable to do so. Weird. Landing triggers when you land. Amplify... Increase the distance. Huh. Interval. Falling. Falling triggers after falling. Oh, these are the ones that are added by the, um, the mana artifice. Right? Or the same one that adds the gym. This one, yeah. Ours Artifice. <laughs> okay. And then Ray. Ray is like an instant shoot. Alright, and I think we need Crush. I don't know how expensive Crush is to make. See a piston. It's a what's this? What's this thing called? Shoot, I always forget it. Grindstone. All right. What else we got? What else can we do? Ignite? I didn't pick up's pretty good. Oh, so many spells, so little time. I just want to make all of these. Oh, we can't even make an ender chest. Wait, what? Why? Why? Mm. 
accessing Ender inventory has been so helpful in Arcane. Using the, uh, the, um, what is it called? Aerial device? Yeah. I would assume. This just seems like a no-brainer making this. Flint and steel. Could probably make launch might as well <clears throat> launch should be nice to have on a hotkey as well like maybe a different hotkey which which kind of like if you had this in your inventory you could use launch oh by the way are we completing our stuff we might be getting free things I didn't check oh there's a heal I didn't make a heal oh we get lay on hands I didn't get that one uh, place fluids, but I didn't have that one either. What other quests do we have complete? Backpacks. Soulbound. Ooh. That'd be nice to put on our backpack. Oh, if ours can handle fluids now? Oh, yeah, it can. Yeah, ours... Starbunkle Mania? No. Hasn't ours always been able to, like, use fluids, I think? I don't remember. You need BB. No, nope, stay. I don't need muddy paws in my office. No. She's looking at me like, oh, I need to get one of those like mesh, like things that go over my door, Chen. Okay, so I don't know if summon wolves is worth it. Place block we probably want. That is a dispenser, isn't it? We had it. Good, 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 good. Um snare is great I don't know if we have cobwebs though we have we have five cobwebs oh we can make cobwebs okay oh well, that's right uh we have batania I out of earth essence getting close probably Then rune is always good. Rotate, rotate. Summon steed. I don't know if we're, we'll ever need that, but just because. Summon steed has some interesting uh, effects. You can summon a horse, right? And you can summon that horse with effects on them. And then when they die, they can spread that effect. Which is weird, but it's a thing you can do. Summon wolves is not that great for me. Let's do the rune. Oh, we already had one. I just need manipulation as well. 
I feel like this is a no-brainer, though, getting into Ars Nouveau here. Where's the summon Pegasus? Oh, that'd be super cool. Somebody needs to make an add-on. We need an add-on. We need a flying horse. On it. <laughs> we need a flying horse with some beautiful wings. Some beautiful, like... We need two, two, two models. We need a demon wing and an angel wing. Two models. <laughs> Conjure Terrain, yeah. Is Conjure Terrain in here? Where's it at? Conjure Terrain. Is that a spell? Is that a tier three spell? It should be a tier one spell, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's not in here. Was that a new spell? That's not in 119? I think there's a way we can make cobble, if I remember correctly. We can make ice bridges with a spell. What's Infuse do? Infuses a target with a portion of the flask. Your inventory if augmented with AoE. That, that causes the splash potion. Okay. Cold snap. I don't have a bucket of... That seems pretty cool. Causes a spell to chain through multiple groups, targets, either similar blocks or living entities. AoE cre increases target count. I need to make this. This is going to require rail. And then Fuck. yeah conjure terrain's not in here unless it's disabled there's a pickup fluid gravity's interesting flare Lair would be doable now. Is there any other spells you guys can think of? That you think might be useful in a skyblock? Extend time would be a good one. Gravity? Explosion is like... Oh, the recipe for explosion has been changed to grenades. Was this was this always like that? Or was this changed after Sarah seen me explode an entire area <laughs> with a bow? Um These aren't bad to make. That seems like a weird recipe change, but okay. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, it's because TNT is expensive. Oh, interesting. Oh, you can't even get TNT. What? What? Smaller throwable TNT. Well, you just make this. You don't need. What? Why? I mean, this is TNT. That's cool. Always like stuff like this. We can make some really broken spells now for uh, for our sword. <clears throat> we can make cold snap, extend and delay time. Um, a lot of other cool things that we can do. I feel like we're slowly building this up. We're getting there. Do grenades work for exploding crafting? That's something I'll have to figure out. I don't know. Look how this guy's doing. Look at that guy. This works so well. Surprisingly well. Okay, anything else in here? Knockback. Delay. Delay is definitely needed. What servers say? Getting a cup of tea. Don't break the game. I will. This pack is actually like this. I don't know if it's just because I'm crafting stuff with ours or what, but I'm like, I'm having a, I'm having a, a lot of fun. <laughs> Hold on, clock. I love being limited. I don't know why. There's something about playing this game and being limited in what you can do that is surprisingly nice and refreshing. And doesn't feel overwhelming because I know that I'm going to have to go towards a certain goal and it feels way less overwhelming for some reason. It's weird. <laughs> Don't look at me like that, chat. <laughs> okay, knocks the target back for distance caster. Sensitive will stop the spell from launching blocks. Sensitive. We made sensitive, right? Okay. And we already had cut, I think. Pierce... There's decelerate duration down. We probably want. We got to keep in mind that we're not only making recipes for like um, our book, but for spell turrets potentially. I don't know how expensive they are in this. They are fairly cheap. Oh my goodness. Okay. So yeah. That's going to be great. I was getting andesite alloy. Okay, we, we need to make another lectern down there. I think that'll be something I'll do here in a minute. This will probably be a pack that'll be good to have, like, the insane setups for these fans going. Alright, I'm gonna close my door. Thank you for that high duty reminder. I will definitely get a drink. You should too. It's a reminder to drink your water, kids. Oh, God, I want to do that again. 
should not be calling you guys kids. It's creepy. It's creepy chat. It's almost as bad as chat calling me dad. Jesus. Okay, how expensive is this going to be? Uh, and how far can we link the lectern le or lecterns? Are you again? Insightful crystal bottle. How do we get you? How did I? How did I get you? I don't remember where we got our initial bottle from. This. Gross. Did a villager just spawn in here and die? Pretty sure it did. I just have to turn this on every now and then to refresh. Oh, God. I think when I redo all of this, um, we'll probably have this hooked into a storage controller and then we can input, but we, I think we can only import from the main source. So like if you add more of these, you can't import to the main sources. <clears throat> um, which is kind of a problem. We could do some weird chaining stuff. Yeah. Oh, toss is good. Toss is good. It can move items wirelessly. Huh. I thought like any of the spells could, I thought toss just kind of, huh. I haven't looked at it too much, I guess. Toss, um, causes the caster to place an item from their inventory to a location. It causes the caster to place an item from their inventory to a location. It doesn't say what location. It's whatever location the spell gets casted to. And if it gets casted onto an inventory, it will attempt to insert into it. Huh. Okay. That could be interesting. This is requiring of me a dropper. So like if I have a chest and let's say, I, I'm assuming it's gonna take the first item that's in my inventory which in this case, the priority would be my pick here. So if I did a projectile toss, it should toss that item into this inventory. Oh my God, chat. <laughs> it does, it does. And then let's see, cobble. If the inventory is full, Assuming it's going to drop it right in front of it. Oh, it will just fail. That's even better. That's even better, actually. That prevents items from dropping on the ground. You don't have to worry about handling them. 
If the inventory is full, then it goes, okay, well, I can't, I'm not going to deal with that. Oh. I like. Interesting. And I'm assuming that you could set up a an item filter. So you could do an item filter on the spell. And I believe you, you apply the, the item filter. Um, I think there's other ways of filtering on the spell parchment. So that's kind of cool. And it can pull from an inventory that it's connected to the, the spell turret. You don't have a fix for FTB chunks not showing parts of the map. You need to probably reload the uh, reload your pack. And it, you might also be able to fix it by hitting F3T, but you might as well just restart the pack at that point because it's going to take a while to reload the textures, but it's probably like a refresh sort of thing. It's a bug that happens. Oh, something, uh, who was, who was asking about the R's auto crafting? Um, something that would be of interest to you, right? Is when it comes to the auto crafting, um, th there is a way, and I believe it's redstone controlled. Okay. It was Matt. Okay. Um, when it comes to redstone control, this is pretty cool. You can detect your inventory here, your storage. Um, and I don't know what it's called. I think it is the jar. Functionality. Okay. No, it is not this jar. There, I, I, I'm pretty sure it's in this version. There's a jar that emits, is it called a display jar? Yes. Okay, so display cases are a functionality that is absolutely needed um, if you're going to be doing the auto crafting. This can shut off. Uh, it can emit a redstone signal. Yeah. Configure to output a redstone signal when a certain level, so it's a level emitter. It's like a uh, Planet Energy 6 level emitter. When the level of the inventory is reached. So this is a way that you can shut off your crafting or shut off a... Uh, exports or or what have you for your auto crafting to keep things in stock that would probably be super helpful for auto crafting i swear this takes so long crafting all these things up all the leather crunk Isn't it sad? I know I'm going to be streaming for like eight hours, but I feel like it's not enough time today. Like, I want to play this way more. What's wrong with me? Didn't I make the duration down? Oh, I think we ran out of experience. Oh yeah, we were needing plates. Okay. That's why I set off to make plates. Is 
Is this actually... Oh, it's full. Ew. Those little jerks. Those little jerks. Okie dokie. Um, all right, so that should be emptied now. Okay, so we got good resources. That's going to help us a ton. We're back to doing this. I should be able to make the clock now. All right, and then I'm, I should be able to travel to the other area quite quickly now. The duration down. Um, I don't think we're going to need the rotate stuff. There's a redstone signal. This can break bedrock. So actually I might make that. Ow. Um, so there is a spell combo that you can do that utilizes the original function of like using a piston, except it's, it's so much quicker and easier to do it this way like to use this redstone functionality to trigger it instead of like the trapdoor and stuff. It, it It's a lot easier to do. Let me see if I can... Uh... Let me see if I can pull it up real quick. I almost wonder if like the 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 bigger amplify can break bedrock. <laughs> like the higher amplify. How do you get nickel? Um so you have to wait for a you have, we, no 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 you don't have to wait. Uh, you can summon a wandering trader through this. You summon a wandering trader and it will have a nickel trade. That's how you get your initial nickel. You have to spawn the boy in. I know. It it is a pain, I think, but you you do have to do that. Let me see if I can find that. I'm gonna I wanna pull it up because it's important, I think. Oh, we got a, oh, we got a, we got a meanie chest. Please give me something good. What is that? Wait. Wait, what? Wait. Did you see that, Squidward? Thank you, by the way. I wasn't expecting to get a cyclic charm. Double down. Thank you for the 21 months, man. All right, so we got a, a, a dormant creeper spore. It's the only way you can get this. Is it infinite? It, now we're blast resistant. Is that all explosion damage? Oh my god, it's all explosion damage. <laughs> okay, interesting. That's a crazy charm. It is, isn't it? What? Okay, back to me looking if I can find this. 
I believe it was in the uh, Create Arcane Engineering um, Discord. There's the C Google Doc, and if I search this Google Doc, I can f look for Bedrock. The R's Break Bedrock spell is Projectile Redstone, three times power, delay, gravity. Place a piston facing down with a single air gap between the piston and the bedrock and zap it with that spell. To make it easier, place a piston facing down, look up, then press K to lo lock the rotation or whatever you have to get the piston to be placed in that position. I don't have any bedrock to test this on, I don't think. But if you wanted to break bedrock, that would be how you would do it. Is there anywhere that does have bedrock in this? The island doesn't have bedrock in it, does it? But that would be a good way to break it. Um, let me see what it's saying. Let me just read that again. Um, so it's a, it's a really easy spell projectile redstone. So projectile redstone power. Uh, I don't know how you define power. Is that a thing in here? Is that amplify? Okay. Wait, what? Wait, 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 what am I doing? Okay. I don't want the toss. This will be a redstone amplify one, two, three, and then a delay. Mm -hmm. And then gravity, which I, I do need to make gravity. That is iron. That's two anvils. I, I technically want it. I can find, I, 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 I'm probably, I'll probably be able to find a use for this. It gives the pistons physics probably does it yeah so it like instantly does it. okay place a piston facing down with a single air gap between the piston and the bedrock and then zap it with that spell that sounds so easy like i'm i'm a visual learner so like once i see this once i'll always know this spell but that's insane if it's literally that simple projectile redstone three times and then a single delay, and then it needs to have gravity. I wonder if this actually just deletes any block. Like, I bet this can just up and delete any block. Holy smokes, Jack. Do projectile eight launches on something <laughs> that's a treat?
Okay, piston. We'll be able to make that here in a minute once we have the iron plates. I really need to make a, uh, a, a separate, like, iron plate maker that has its own water wheels. It's a little bit faster at making plates quickly because this is probably one of the most uh, time-consuming processes is, like, making the plates. I'm assuming we're going to have a better way to make plates soon, like maybe a metal press. I don't know how expensive that's going to be, but... That'll be nice. All right, we've done absolutely nothing towards progression today, which feels kind of crazy. I mean, I guess we have progressed, but like not at the same time. Ugh, it feels weird. It feels gross. Now it's starting to make me sick to my stomach thinking about that. Like just how, how actually little we've gotten done technically. But how like, how much we've actually gotten done at the same time. Am I wrong to think that? I feel like I'm going a little crazy. You just want to see fun R stuff now? I yeah, piston. Okay, so so will this just like let's see obsidian, right? Because that's that's an insanely hard block, right? And it needs to be one block above. Let's K lock this. And then we, we shoot that piston and that obsidian should get deleted. Um, but it didn't. Hold on, project redstone three times power. the red snort okay place a temporary block of redstone with configurable power and duration Dampen and amplify will adjust the power value based up to 10. Maybe it needs to go on top. That might have been the issue. It needs to go on top of the piston and not where it was at. Let's try it. Huh. I wonder... If it was a fake player setting. Because it can't place the... Uh, I bet it's allow fake players. Because it can't place the redstone because it's not a... Uh, it's a fake player. Okay, that worked. But it didn't at the same time. Mm -hmm. 
And this might be the same sort of situation that, like, it normally struggles with. Delay needs to go. No, it looks like delay is needed. Gravity. We'll do a duration down and it will do a, a delay duration down on the delay and then hit it with a gravity. Maybe to, to kind of modify it ourselves a little bit here. How's it going? You wouldn't? Maybe this is something that only works with Bedrock. Projectile, redstone, three power, delay, gravity. Place a piston. Maybe it needs to go on the side. And like, because I'm in the position where I'm at. Once I figure this out though, it's like, it's, it's donezo, right? We're, it's, it's golden. Like it's, it's, it's locked in forever, right? Why does it look like it's placing a full block? Is it supposed to? Places a temporary block of redstone with a configured, configurable power and duration augment with sensitive. It worked. I'm. I was thinking the obsidian would just de be deleted, but maybe it doesn't. Maybe we can try it on a non. Maybe. Maybe it's because it's obsidian that's causing the problem. Like, we can see if it... I just want to see if it's going to delete a block. That's what it needs. A piston facing down with a single air gap between the piston and the bedrock. Having the fake redstone wait for the piston might do it. I don't know. This doesn't make it sound like this, unless this was fixed between 118 and this version. This might have been fixed. I mean, there's still the vanilla way to do it, so I'm not like even worried. I'm just wasting time here. All right. Anyways, th apparently there's something you can do there. Justin, how's my day? It's going pretty good. We're like playing around with with create stuff. Just mess around. You can still do it the vanilla way with the trapdoors and stuff, so... If push comes to so shove and we actually needed to use it, then we could do that. But, it was interesting. It's interesting, though. Okay, back to... More of this. I think we almost have everything we could want out of here. Oh no, we need freeze. That needs snow blocks. I think we have snow. No, we don't. Uh, water. Oh, chat, by the way, I seen a comment yesterday on a video. It kind of made me, it made me a little sad, honestly. But it was, it was basically in the, it was in the thread of 
chosen we i can't keep up with your let's plays and they they went on to say that the reason they can't keep up with the let's plays is because i know what blocks i need to farm certain things from i know this and that and this and that and so because i know those things i progress too fast and they can't keep up which was kind of upsetting to me but i also make the videos so that way there's a learning thing like there's a learning part of my videos that that explain how to to find those things and i typically don't show anything i typically don't show anything that uh, like, I don't just miss something. Like, I don't just, like, not show it, if that makes any sense. Like, there's nothing I'm, I do usually in the videos where I'm not showing actually what I'm doing. So that comment felt kind of strange to me, seeing that. And they said maybe they feel alone in this, that they, uh, they can't follow the videos, and so they, they just stopped watching. And I was like, I, I don't know. Like, am I playing too fast? Like, do I play too fast? Don't stress about it. I'm not stressed about it. I, it was just something that I, I seen. I thought it was interesting. You downvoted the comment about that stuff. I, I mean, I understand. That, like everyone has their own opinions, and I, I'm down to 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 hear them. I just I want to fundamentally understand why though. But maybe it's it's not a matter of why. Maybe it's because maybe they do have some sort of some sort of issue that I, I'm just unaware of or they are unaware of. I don't know. You always love your style personally? Was entertaining, but also educational. I mean, yeah. That, so my my confusion was like, then don't don't watch the videos every day. You know, you don't have to watch them every day. The series are always going to be there. They're like never going to not be there. They're they're there forever. So watch and play at your own pace. Unless they're wanting to to play and watch simultaneously. But then that'll never that'll never work out cuz every episode's like 30 minutes long. So if you if you plan on getting stuff done in a 30 minute session, it's never going to happen. It's never going to happen. So even if I was watching videos and following along, I would actually really enjoy like watching it going, ooh, this is really cool. I want to try and do that. And then I'd go try and do it. If I got stuck, I'd go back and re-reference. Right? And I'd, I'd be like, how do I do this? I mean, that's how I learned early on. And then I always, always like to, to put my own spin on things. Like it may not have been the most effective way of doing something, but I always tend to like my, put my own spin on it. Pretty much everything I know about Minecraft I learned from your videos. Oh my god. I hope I didn't uh, give out too many, like, uh, too too much misinformation. <laughs> I try to keep my misinformation to a minimum. <laughs> uh, I need the bone mill spell. This is a, a really powerful spell right here. You play mo I play mods you almost never play, says Sixen. Hmm. I'm assuming you're you're referring to like Greg Tech stuff. I don't need any of this these filters for right now. Not not at least right now, I don't think I need. These reverse directions are interesting. I don't know if I would need those. So tier tier one's done. Um, there's a decelerate. I don't think I'm going to need a decelerate and decreases the speed of projectile spells. Animate block is some, a little guy that fights for you. Um, animate blocks will convert to a falling block when it dies, casting a large amount of mana. Costs a large amount of mana. Um, 
but does not grant summoning sickness. So this can be used as like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't really never know like what to do about animate block other than it's a pet. Um, cold snap. I would like to make, can I get, can I make powdered snow? Oh my God. There's a recipe for it. I think the part that I had a problem with uh, most streamers is when new interesting testing goes on and the streamer keeps looking away from the new block so you never get the name. So as long as you're discussing the item names and the mods, it's very cool. Yeah, I mean, everything is cool. Yeah, I try my best to show... And, and really go, even while I'm streaming, to go into detail. Like, I'm not just, like, crafting. I'm usually, like, also explaining the, the reasoning why I'm making something. Like, why am I making these spells right now? Actually, I don't I don't know why I'm making them. Other than it's just fun. This is a clicker game I enjoy. <laughs> but no. Um, yeah, I typically like to... I love explaining things. That, that chaining looks really cool. I actually want to... I kind of want to test the chaining. That feels like that could be made to be insanely powerful. And then... Manipulation Essence. Um, what is slash me in Twitch? It does this. It just kind of makes it like slanted. It used to color it based on your, uh, whatever your name is. It would color the chat, but it doesn't do that anymore. Unless you have like an add on, like an extension. It makes it italics. It's, uh, even Minecraft has the slash me. And then it does, it, it's like saying it from the perspective. It's supposed to be from your perspective or something like that. It's, it's a weird, like, thing. I don't know. Like a thinking? I don't know. It's, it's like a thinking, right? Breaking the fourth wall, yeah. IRC, yeah. I, don't, I think its purpose is like, yeah. Slaps you with a frozen tuna. Oh yeah, there it is. Yeah, that's what it is. That's what it's for. Dude, I am getting the most out of this right now. <laughs> All right, chat. I am making the most out of this. We need gunpowder. We need gold. I am making everything I can make. Well, mine is the really obscure ones that I'm not doing. There is a slash me and there is a you. It's not a you, though. Unless you were just making a making a joke. <laughs> I just didn't get it. Because <laughs> I'm a dork. Uh wait, I gotta make didn't I make this? Mm. 
Oh, I did. I did. Stop, 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 stop. No, no, no. Stop, stop, stop. No, stop, 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 stop. stop. Give me the stuff back. Oh, wait. It doesn't give it back. Oh, shoot. It just consumed all of that. It gave me the experience back, though. Um, I don't think we need invisibility. Causes the target to turn invisible for a short time. Pick up fluid sounds interesting. Pick up fluids from world and fill a tank in the hot bar or next to a turret. This could be useful for a water, like infinite water source. It picks picks up fluids from the world. Picks up fluids from world and fill a tank in the hot bar or next to the turn. Yeah. So it picks up the fluid. That's interesting. Okay. I don't think we need infuse. Magic sense. We don't really need that reveals hidden runes. Pierce? I don't ever use Pierce either. So I think we're good other than making an Amplify 2. I think that's all we can really do. Pierce, uh, there's not a way to make spells go. This doesn't make things go through blocks, right? A path additional time after hitting a mob or a block. Cause a certain effects. Target the block behind them like break. Right with AoE. Pierce can be useful in automation. Hmm. We can make it. Might as well. It's basically free. Sometimes you get confused because the uh, slash EM is an emote or two emote. And you get confused with that way. That makes sense. Sense pretty reasonable. All right. I think we I think we're good. We have everything except for rotate. Reverse the direction of a block. Versus the direction of a block targeted spell across the face. Rotates a block or entity clockwise. With sensitive, it will change the axis of the block if possible or force the entity to turn their look. Then it will rotate counterclockwise. Can't make evaporate, I don't think, because unless we have access to sponges. Maybe it's chest loot. So only bees? I bet you need to have this to make it. <laughs> to make the bee. So sponge would be something that's like... Something that you, you get from something. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out, I'm sure. I'm sure there's like a way to do it. Okay. So now with that, uh, we now have the power to do a lot of things. Um, let's see... Ours, cobble, spell. I don't think we can make cobble with a spell. But we can place. You can get it from sieving. It would have shown. Yeah, there is no conjure terrain. There's Conjure Mage Block. Creates a temporary block that will disappear for a short time. If I amplify will cause the block to be permanent. Oh. Well, then there we go. We'll just build our entire base out of those. Seems pretty reasonable. 
Yeah. We'll just do uh, touch. We'll do conjure. Conjure mage block. Uh, AoE or amplify AoE. We should place three blocks right here. Yeah, we just. Yeah, they're there forever. The island ritual is pretty cool. It, it takes a, just one source jar too, though. It changes the biome, though. That's that's the thing I don't like. Is it changes the biome. Mmm. You can change the color. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I can say I want... Uh, the. Let's make it, like, white. I think that works. Huh. It's void in the dark to be abyss. Never to be found again. Infinite void block. <laughs> you need a black block? We got you covered. You need a, a light? Let's do rainbow. Okay, I think the I think the blocks are a little drunk here. God, it's sinking. It got really blue for a minute. Oh, it is fade. It is rainbowing. The are these rainbowing? It's broken. Huh. Is it in a different chunk? It was in a different chunk. It was on a chunk chunk edge. Actually, the whole thing was in a different chunk. Six out of the nine worked, yeah. Weird. Okay, I didn't actually know about that. That's kind of cool. Like it changing the colors of it. What if we just want them all white? Maybe we do one at a time. Okay, the white ones aren't too bad. I actually, I like the white ones. Okay, we can do white and purple. Well, those aren't purple. That's blue. Chat, I know you're colorblind. Okay. Put more red in it. That's, that's much better. Too true, yeah. Interesting. I like the white ones though. Those are pretty neat. So do they also, if they are set to rainbow, if you have them all set to rainbow and you place them individually, do they like all sync up? Okay, it looks like they do sync up. Maybe not. Yes, they do. They don't? They do? Are these inverted on the opposite chunk boundary? Is this literally showing me a different chunk? This happen like this too. That is so strange. Now we got free real estate, chat. As long as these things last forever, might as well use them, right? Unless they cause lag. I don't know if they cause FPS lag. 
that's kind of got me that's the only thing that's got me kind of concerned okay um we can build a better spell for our sword um so let's do freeze freeze and then we'll do freeze delay where's that delay duration down cold snap delay where's that oh wait no no this yeah delay wait hold on the first one needs first cold snap needs amplify two times one time then delay then cold snap then amplify delay cold snap that should be the insane sword ready to go okay so that should be freeze delay duration down cold snap amplify delay cold snap amplify delay cold snap amplify so it hits them with three cold snaps which annihilates almost anything um Especially in a mob farm. Like, it just... It will slay in a mob farm. Now, do we have looting? This has looting on it. Looting too. We can rip that off of there. This is a leech. We need looting. This one also has the loot pinata. So... We need a book. Oh, didn't mean to do that, actually. Hold on. There we go. What? Is that not weird? Like... Is this like an innate looting or something? This isn't like an enchantment. Oh. You can just craft a golden sword with looting on it. Oh, but it's not an enchantment. That's weird. The enchantments are always so expensive with ours. Orc mixins, interesting. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, now where are we at in our adventure? Let's get some shears. Actually, let's get a bottle. Cause right, I need um, I do need. I probably will eventually need a honey block. So I probably should be grabbing that. I th think we should start focusing on this task now. Um, expand or try to move the base to the Sky Island. Okay, I feel like that's where we're currently at. So, with that. We now have just made some insane strides and we can now build. Do you like to live to, like you're, you're asking, should I play the skies first or go expert directly? Yeah. I mean, crack. I, great. I, you can. I mean, they're two different packs. They're entirely different packs. So. It's really whatever you want to do, but it they are entirely different packs.
in my opinion. With this, both having the same theme, but they are entirely different packs. Okay. Um, so create contraptions are not going to be able to be like a real thing for helping us harvest. I, I just, I need to figure out how big we want to make an area. I really want to go out to the Sky Island this one specifically and I want to base here we need to figure out how to get there and to be able to move everything over there successfully was there a way to move chess chat um Hacking tape. This, I think, lets me pick everything up, right? So, there's that way, or um, we could put all of our chests that we currently have in a contraption. If it's not too difficult to do in this. We'll have to see. I think moving everything with create is going to be the, the thing we need to do. I just think that that's probably going to be the, like, just scooting it in a contraption. Um, yeah, that way we don't have to really worry about too much. It just, we just glue everything together and then we do create, um, cart. Assembler. Good God. We need to put this into here. Perfect. Okay, so we, we basically have everything we need. So, like, we should be able to pick this up. Now, my problem is I'm going to have to relink everything. Like, that's not a huge, huge deal. But all of this can be linked to itself. Um, We just will add some blocks to, to link everything, and including this. So, long, hopefully it doesn't crash when we pull the storage lectern, but um, we'll be able to get our main storage over there. That's a start. Now, how to teleport back and forth. I think we need to make another portal. Um, we need uh, obsidian. Okay. Um, then we need flint. And still, or we have our ignite spell, I guess. You know, this whole thing, I was working on like making that unlimited spell. I don't really know what spell I would ever want. Um that doesn't consume other than like a like maxed out efficiency spell like if we were breaking ores maybe but like i can't even think of anything that i could use that like artifice spell on Ugh, which is kind of frustrating i really want to know ours portal scrolls <sighs> we can't make them unless you get them from loot or something we can't get them these villagers don't trade for them 
these villagers are a little different. Uh, actually, I think they do. They might actually trade for them. We just need Invar coins, and we now make Invar. You know what? Let's actually look into that. What is it? The wandering... We need to make this. Okay, so we can actually do this. Um, we need a villager that's killed. Here I am getting distracted again. We're getting close though. But this could, this could mean, this could be big. This could be big, chat. This could be big. Okay, there's that. Put that in there. How many was it? Three. And then two of those in a lead. This guy does show up, by the way. Soul. And he has infinite trades. So making this guy is like a uh, integral part, I think, of this pack, right? Um, we have a villager. We need to kill a villager. Right? We can't just like put the villager here and capture him, right? We have to kill him. That's an Enderman. Oh, I just wasted a villager. Son of a gun. Nova Shop! Welcome in. Thank you for the raid, my man. Appreciate that. My dude. What were you up to? Uh, how did you find the levy from all the mods nine playthrough? So it's a spawn egg. You have to defeat the Leviathan. And so if you missed the, uh, the Leviathan episode, you probably missed it. But yeah, you, you get an egg and then you have to hatch it. Yo, thank you. Nova Ship, awesome. welcome back. Thank you for the tier two, 55 months. Thank you, by the way, for the raid as well. Boop, boop. Boop. What else does this need? A lead? Boop. Hell. What else? This. Then we shift right click. And then he spawns. Perfect. And then we should be able to put him in here. Oh, never mind. You can't put him in there. Okay, so this guy trades Invar for Invar coins. Okay, great. Um, I kind of want you in a hole. Can I get you in a hole? It'd be nice if it was actually daytime. Let me sleep. I haven't slept in a while. I don't even know where my bed's at. I think it's over here. They clearly thought of that. Yeah, they did. I can't believe I punched them. <laughs> oh, did we? We made the heal spell, right? The good part about a heal, the heal spells, we can do projectile, heal. And I can heal him.
Yeah, go right here. Right here. Right here, buddy. Yeah, you're close. You're close. Right here. Right here. And... You're in. Perfect. Nice. Stay there. Uh, precision mechanisms for two Invar. Okay, uh, Invar. Oh my god. Nickel and Invar. I don't know how any of y'all live on a sing a single slab. What are you talking about? I love how I'm just I get completely distracted in this pack and like I'm like, ooh, shiny. I'm like, I need to do that. Your skywalk anxiety. Oh, if you're like on a single block. Well, you don't have to. I love my island on in this thing. The the chosen island's really good. I built it for that one reason, I guess. I built it so you can expand right away, so you can go down or up. Um do 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 do. So I need Invar. Um just need to keep andesite in my bag. Yeah, I feel like I'm bouncing all over the place, chat, and I'm sorry for that. I don't really know what to do. That's just kind of how it is until I get, like, a place sort of situated to build. You make your sky blocks a minimum of five blocks deep. A lot of people like to put, like, um a thing like under their skyblock so like they'll have their skyblock but then they'll have their other uh they'll have another layer underneath it which is usually pretty good Is there no other way other than the alloy kiln to get it? I should also grab from here. I bet there's nickel and iron dust. Can this can this process it from dust? I don't think it can. No. Um, and then is this? But this can. Is there an Invar blend? Oh yeah, it's not what I thought it was. No, it's here. Two iron, so we just need another thing of iron. So scary, your first real pack was Sky Factory 2. You had to climb down to the void so many times. That's where water is really handy. Water will be your friend. Okay. I can probably shut this off right now. We've had that running for a long time. Don't really need to keep wasting anything. Okay. So you go in here. And then I need a hopper. Is that not hopper? Oh. Well, the other multi blocks do that. How dare they? You can hop her into these. Mm. 
All right, let's go to our whole our whole man. Our man in the hole. Good. Infinite trades. That's kind of sick. Okay, I quit quit with the magnet. Oh my god. Oh, I got to get the pick out of my hand. Wait, wait, wait. Your trades changed. Okay, I want these. Okay. Interesting. Wild and horned false weave. At least I can buy food now for like not a whole lot. Summon in wild Signalium coins. Let's see what else you got. Drink me shards for Lumium coins. Give me some more of your rolls. Okay, so this guy didn't offer them. I'm, I think it's a chance. Like, I think it can still offer scrolls though. Right? Or is there still no chance at level two for it to roll? Let me look and see what all it actually does roll here. So at level two, it can do, okay, so it did false weave. So it can, it can. It just, it rolled false weave here for the Electrum. Co coins. Okay, so we just got to get lucky. Maybe we'll get lucky on this one. Look at me like that. I don't like that. <laughs> like I'm looking at me like that. Where's the bee? Where's the bee? Bee, come here. I do need to lead the bee, but then I want to lead it to the hive. Then I have two bees I can breed. How long will it take to get the 2,500 points? Are you talking about channel points? Channel points aren't related to money. If that's what you're referring to. The crew points. Crew points are accrued. Let's see what I did there. From you just interacting with the stream. And just chilling. We not. I hate the that they spin around. The items run away from you. That is such a weird thing. If you're a tier three, you do get a two times multiplier. True. Yeah, subs do get multipliers. Um, you also get rejoin bonuses every day. And I'm pretty sure there are also bonuses the longer uh, the longer your stream streak goes. So the more streams you consistently watch. Wait. Oh, never mind. We got bees. Ivy Kirkland's in there. We need more, though. Okay. Um. Oh, he, he changed. So it's all random chance. Doesn't really matter what we we choose. This one gave false weave. Okay, so it, uh, it seems like it's the same trade, but maybe it's not. I don't know. I mean, either way, I'm buying some good food. I'm gonna. All right, let's check out what else this guy's offering. What are you selling? What are you trading over here? Moon dust for an elytra. Invar will get us nutrient chicken feed. 
Hey, I know that person. Sarath. Hey, there's Suniker. And then this is how we get the gold, uh, some golden power source for Forcecraft. We can trade emeralds. I think these are limit. Are these limited trades? The emeralds. But buying precision mechanisms. Is that like he's done for the day or is it because it's nighttime or like? But I thought, I thought Sarah had said that they, they had a, a, like these trades were infinite. Oh man. So should I say, well, either way, these would be Electrum coins, which I mean, we could make. Like, because... I'll try one more villager. Well, actually, no. We need these villagers in case we want to breed them later. Because the... The villager breeder is disabled for some reason in this pack. So, okay, well, at least we got some food for a little while. So, yeah, we're not getting those. We're not getting the scrolls. It don't, it just doesn't look like we're getting scrolls at all. So we've got to, we've got to figure this out. Um, and I think nether portals are going to be the best way to do this. So back to the nether portal solution. Flint and steel. Going to the nether. Building out our nether stuff. Um, with a lot of cobble slabs. Basically. Uh, first, though, we got to get back over there. So I'm going to bring some magical fruit. Get some magical fruit. We'll be able to get back over there pretty quick. Let's actually just take this off for right now. It's going to be like 200 blocks out. Could always make a vanilla breeder. I can. That's the, but this is modded, right? This is this is modded. It just feels weird that the uh, that easy villagers is in here, but then the part that makes villagers easy is removed. Does that make sense? Am I a ba am I am I a crybaby for that? Drink water. Thank you. They removed the uh, inventory. Hmm. So we don't have the size increase. It is an expert one. Y yeah. Yeah, I, I understand that. But vanilla, vanilla, vi vanilla villager breeder is very vanilla. <laughs> very vanilla. It's not hard to set up. But it is very vanilla. 
Okay, so, which is also what we're about to be doing, which is very vanilla. Um, we're about to get some coordinates. We're going to build a portal, get some coordinates, and then we're going to take those coordinates, divide them by eight, and so on and so forth, right? So, chat, are we ready to go? Uh, let's see. Whoa, lag, 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 lag. What direction are we going? We're going this way. Okay, we're going out this way. Uh, we don't need anything but obsidian going out here the first right first round Making my way downtown. Oh, sorry How many languages do I speak I speak one I'm not smart enough. No, I just when I was uh, when I was in school, we I had to take one span. I was required to take one foreign language class, and that was Spanish. I took it was either Spanish or French. I had the option. I chose Spanish. Uh, did I learn anything? Uh, very little. Very very little in in one what was it one semester? I had to get one credit to graduate, and so I did. I got my one credit and I said, uh, I'm out. So like, I can, I can say like, you know, um, como te llamas? Like I can say stuff like that. Como te llamas? And like, there's very few things I know how to say. I know how to respond back to that. I'm sure I could learn it if I had more time to learn it. I gotta find a good place to put this portal. Hmm. Good place to put the portal. Why not right here? Seems like a good place to put the portal. Or like right here. Right here. Oh, there's a chest under that. <laughs> I accidentally... There are hidden chests. Super Bond, welcome! Welcome, man. One, two, three. I'll go four on this one. Make it look a little bit nicer. And... Perfect. Uh, and then I'll ignite it, and then we don't walk through it. So, let's get our coordinates. So our coordinate is... Chat, you want to do this? 1383. 144, that doesn't matter. 949. Okay. We should be able to just divide that by 9. We're good. Will you ever play a vanilla playthrough? I have definitely played vanilla. It's been, a, it's been a little bit. I have several vanillas. Sorry, divided by eight, not nine. Sorry, did I say did I say nine? I didn't mean to be need to say nine. Um, I've I think one sixteen was the last time I did vanilla. We streamed an entire year here on Twitch playing hardcore. It felt like an entire year, if not a year and a half or more. Was just non-stop vanilla hardcore.
You joined here December of 2023? Yeah, no, it was before it was before then for sure. It's been a while. It's been a while. I do want to play more vanilla. I do want to get back into it. It's just it's really hard to shuffle. Like I only have so much time and I can only stream for so long and I mean I there's only so much I can do. I also want to enjoy myself too while I'm while I'm playing. So there's like a like a kind of gotta work things through, you know. I gotta do things at my own pace. Okay. So our coordinate is gonna be one three eight three divided by eight. So that is gonna leave me with one seven two. And then we're gonna have negative negative nine four nine divided by eight, which will be a hundred. 118. There is vanilla in modded. That is very true. There is definitely vanilla in modded. So yeah, that is that is also very true. <laughs> Negative 19. Let's do negative 19. Negative 19. 172. Yeah, there's just more of the vanilla. Yeah, true. Like a lot of, a lot of, um, vanilla concepts. Whoa. Look at our coordinates. Oh. All golden swords have looting on them. have a way to shut this farm off. Oh yeah, true, I can turn off the chunk loading. So yeah, we're not using the nether to travel because our initial portal is not correct. Which is interesting. Our initial portal is not correct to our current position here. Uh -huh. 
That is very strange. Okay, maybe... You don't think technically I'm in the overworld? True. Okay, there goes everything I was thinking about doing out the window. So I guess we're just making long trips back and forth. And I guess that's okay. So that's, that's doable. Okay, I... You know what? Let's just start by... First of all, just moving this. Seems reasonable, seems doable. Okay, let's just do that. We'll just move all of this over there. <laughs> watch me get, watch me get blocked from doing this too. Oh God. Okay, we got cart glue. We sh this should be all we need. I'll just bring them all just in case. We need a projectile dispel. I just punch them, I guess. Okay, so it's technically still linked, but I should probably break it just to make sure. I don't want any kind of crashing thing happening. Uh, but I do want to bring this over with me. So we're not linked. That's good. Uh, I do need some like material here. Let's use some logs. Okay, that should be good. Um, and then I can place this on top of here like this. Art assembler like that. And then I will just glue This, glue this, glue this to this, glue this to this, and then we'll glue this together. We can glue this, we'll glue this to the lectern, lectern to this, this to this. Okay, so now this is a contraption. And I just need a lever. Okay. Maybe I can't glue the lectern, but that's fine. Super 
Super glue the entire island? <laughs> nah, it doesn't work that way. Not exactly. I am going to super glue this whole thing, though, together. All of this, I think. I'm going to super glue pretty much this, this whole thing. I can also super glue this, I think. So long as it doesn't hate me for doing it. I'll move the spawner with me, too. Kind of. I don't know. I don't know if I want to do all of that. Like, I kind of want to start almost fresh, but not fresh, if that makes any sense. Dude, this goat is getting getting wrecked. Ah, uh, warp scrolls make the back and forth so easy. I know, right? If only I could get warp scrolls. If only. Probably just about everything I know to do, except for maybe finding them in loot, which we did not find even thought about using portals to travel back and forth but that also is not how things actually work here which has me wondering if i travel through this portal it's gonna break everything yes it does break everything uh oh but in a bad way okay that's actually kind of good, but also bad at the same time. I mean, we want it linked here. So, I'm not complaining. Where do I want this? I don't want... I, I might need to build, like, a little area out to place this in. Because I don't want this right now to be... Uh, I want to rebuild, so I kind of want this off to the side for right now. So I'm going to place it right here, I think. Okay, so placing down the contraption, it's so simple. So simple. Should be able to place it right here. And then in the direction I'm facing. It... If we give it a redstone signal, it'll make sure it doesn't break any blocks. And then we can kind of judge where it's being placed. And then we should be able to go, okay, that's okay. And then we can drop it down into position. And then I can just pick everything up and then unglue. Did I put the Bookworm charms in here? Where did my other bookworm charms go? Oh, there they are. They didn't they don't stack? Oh, because one has MBT because it was given to us, right? Oh, it's because it's died. Okay. And then I just relink.
All right, and that's it. 24. Nice. Now we're back in business. Okay. Imagine if he drops the minecart in the void. Dude, that would... <sighs> <laughs> 25 chests though 25 chests filled with every item that we have acquired through how many hours are we in this too many 1.3 days How does Dyer keep using home slash back? I don't know. It's disabled in here, right? We'll be able to find out. Unless they went with the strategy that I was mentioning by doing like a uh, time. Maybe it's because if you're the host of the server, you have it. Like if you have uh, cheats enabled. Or what is Minecraft changing it to? Commands enabled, not cheats. Chosen plays it on piece on, on one PC. Yeah, this is all, this is just a single player world. Do you have cheats enabled? Yes, of course I do. For CCI. Otherwise, you guys wouldn't see a lot of things happening. We wouldn't have little players that spawn in. Okay. Uh so we gotta we gotta head back. Um I don't know where we need to put our create madness, but hmm. Where should we put our create madness? This seems like a pretty decent space to extend off of. I mean, for right now, our create madness is a madness. So let's maybe put it here. We could probably fit it in here. Just like we have this. Leave my home alone. I'm not going to mess with your home tech. Make an island shaped like a gear. I feel like I've done that in the past. Good thing we could like vein mine this later because I don't think there's anything attached to this. Doesn't seem like there's anything attached to it. Okay, so we have a nice large area here to play with. So now we just need to take our contraption and see how we can't connect everything together. If we can with our glue and make it a car contraption. Um, I think we should be able to do this. 
We're just gonna make sure everything's connected in some way. And then we can bring it over here. And then we can set up our water wheels, our own thing. Shiv has a 4090. Dude, 4090s is insanely expensive. For this, the cost of this PC, people were buying 4090s. That's absurd, not necessary. The Arlcraft person? I mean, good. I, Shivasky? Yeah, no, I, I, who needs it? I don't know. And chosen as kids. Yeah, I have. Why? Well, I don't know why I would need a forty ninety. Maybe in the future, possibly. I I think the only problem with me upgrading from the twenty eighty to a forty ninety is worrying about power constraints on my power supply. I think I just need a lever. I think this computer cost me like $2,600 whenever I, I built it. That was several years ago. I built it here on stream too. It's kind of crazy to think about. I built it here with you guys. Okay, so I have a goal. I do want to be able to utilize this island that's over here. But I want this to be my main island. Eventually, we'll probably go back to this island and remodify it. Right now, honestly, it's, it's a lost cause. It's so big. Flying through the air. With some magic enchanted air. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I swear it ain't coming from my derriere. Uh, you just built a uh, PC for a customer with a 4090. Uh, he bought it back for other reasons, and I noticed uh, it had Minecraft installed. Yeah, your your frame rate really. Your, your frame rate in Minecraft is only as good, right? It's really, it's really, it's it's really hard to, I don't know, knock them for it, like. Heck yeah, go for the latest and greatest. That does not that's not a big deal. But getting getting frame rate in Minecraft, mm. you, you you can only use as much as your monitor lets you use anyways. So that's kind of a kind of something to think about. Alright, so this is about one I mean I guess we'll be able to see whenever we place it in, but just say that this block right here. I'm missing the rail. Oh, uh, can I make it? I might have the stuff to make it. Laying around here. I have six iron plates. Did I not put it in my inventory? I didn't. I forgot it. I thought I was missing something. Where's a stick event when you need it? I do have a crafting table and a stick. Bzam, by the way. Thank you. You beautiful. Thank you for that prime for three months. Appreciate you. Okay. Now to figure out where everything needs to be glued. Um, so let's first start with this.
And then we can glue this to this. All of these need to be glued. We can glue the coffer. Why not? Then we can go glue this to the front here. So now that's all glued together. This all needs to be glued together. I mean, I guess we could maybe like just make the whole thing and like I could just select everything, I guess. There's nothing really stopping me from doing that. Oh, maybe there is. What's the... What is this saying? Why is it saying I can't... Why is it saying... Is it because there's an entity? Oh, no, no, because there's no block. Okay, so that's where this comes into play. Oh, that's cool that it, like, lets you know. You know what? If I did this... Now it will work. I don't need that lava there anyways, because it probably set the place on fire. Don't forget to bring some lava, yeah. Well, yeah, we're going to bring this whole whole setup with us. We've got to move everything back over there. Greg Greg Face, dude, welcome back for the three months. Thank you for the tier one sub. Appreciate you, that, that dude. Hoping this all attaches. Right. It all looks like it's going to go. Um. <laughs> Knowing me, I like missed like something very easy to miss. You think I think you think that's it, chat? You think it's good? Should I also include this with it? I should just like create a fi and bring this whole thing with me. Okay, that's, that's all there. All right. I think that's, I think that's everything. 
Oh, hey, babe. Hopefully your your day got a little bit better. Now to find out if we forgot anything. Okay, so we did forget. We did forget this. So let's kind of include that. Does anything else not go with it? Okay, whatever this is. Didn't get connected. This is connected, but not. Because that didn't move. Okay, that 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 moved. Oh, piston while it's extended is not getting moved. So let's fix that. Pistons can be moved in contraptions? Since when? Ah, uh, we did forget some... We forgot that. Okay. This is just bananas, man. I, I love Create. Create's insane. This is absolutely ridiculous. Oh, good God. I remember a time when you were really afraid of create. Yeah, I mean, I, I was. It's huge. Look how, look how insane this is. This mod is absolutely b bonkers. Like, absolute freaking bananas. Absurd. I mean, same with ours. When I first like seen ours for the first time, I was like, I was like, oh man, don't drop it in the void. Well, I did back it up. I did make a backup, so it does get dropped in there. So I'm like three forced you into create. Now I'm fine with it. Yeah, it does. Like so like three did force you into it, didn't it? You had to do create to uh, use home command. No. A home command is not intended. It was supposed to be re removed from the pack unless they added it again. But it was it's intended to be removed from the pack. There's only uh, I would prefer to not use the commands. No, I can't flip on FTB skies. No, I don't have the uh, the mod in here. There are other methods for returning. We, I, nothing's worked. Rip. So the nether doesn't work the same way as the normal overworld. So you can't use the nether. I don't know how we would use the nether for trains. I, 
I don't even see that being a possibility. Trains would exclusively have to be in the overworld. I don't see them working in the nether properly. Um, so we can't like use trains to travel long, long dif distances. Can mech teleporters send trains? Ours teleport. I can't, I don't have access to ours teleporters in here. We don't have access to mechanism. This is an expert pack. I don't have any of that. We have nothing. We ain't got nothing. All right, let's see how big of an area this is going to need. All right, so if I put this down, I can remember, I can see a preview if it has a redstone signal. So we can see if it's going to break blocks. It'll break all of these. How far back can I push this? Let's see. One, two, three. I mean, this is perfect right here. And the size is perfect. Oh, that's beautiful. So let's push this back like one, two, three, four, five, six, six blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six. Does it feel like that's okay? But I think it is. That actually might be perfect. Wow. No way, it, but it is. It is a way. It is way in right now, Jet. This is a 100% way in. Move it left one. Well, then it's going to break all of these things. I don't like it being space like that. And then we take this, and we just boop everything. Heck yeah, chat. I mean, we could have used a schematic cannon, but just being able to just pick it up and move it is way, way better. Oh, so much like cleaner. I just tuned back to an absolutely insane way to move your base, and I'm loving every minute of it. It is. It's fantastic, isn't it? So perfect. Now we got a new station. Like I said, I want my storage, I think, to be in this place. If I can get somehow make that happen. This feels like the center of the island. Okay, so, um, corner of ours still is glue, yeah.
I think there's just a lot of stuff that we just need to... to sort of clean up at the other place. Uh, we still gotta move our mob farm. Or we could just rebuild a mob farm. But I, I do like the mob farm that they have. It's not it's not horrible. And we can we can move our redstone and everything. I just don't I I it needs to be somewhat nearby. Huh. We could turn this into a mob farm. And all the minimies. The minimies get cleared every every stream, so I'm not worried about moving them. They get cleared every stream. Uh, we do need to get water on here. I don't remember what... I think it was this direction that we had the water going. What? You slay these... I'm assuming you meant to say harmless. I do slay them. Didn't you remember in all the mods 9 where I lost all my humanity? Or sorry, all the mods 6? Ever since that day, I've never been the same. Is there a way to get this with the FTB app? Nope. FTB app only. Can you remove the... Uh, can you remove rain somehow? Bit rates too much. Yes, yeah. Um, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Don't worry, I don't like the rain either. I gotta go back and get our rain shield. Which I gotta head back anyways. So, yep, here goes the bit rate. I'm so sorry. The Lost Cities is crazy. It is. Lost Cities is pretty crazy. That's in all the mods of nine. I don't know if Lost Cities is in here. Good God.
That should be fixed. I am gonna have to move you, bud. Let me grab you real quick. How much? You probably don't have much life left in you. Uh, you do. You have a lot of life left in you, actually. Ask complete furnace? What in the world? Really? So yeah, I just want to try and grab as much of this random stuff as possible. Like, this is where I want to rebuild, right? So... Seems pretty crazy, like, to be actually moving our base. Ours early game flight is so broken. It is pretty powerful, isn't it? It's pretty powerful. Yo! Platyan, welcome! Welcome, welcome. I, I wonder if we get... Do we get this back if we break it? Well, I hope that wasn't useful. Make broom pretty easy early flight. Oh yeah, we're gonna have to get all of our cows over there. Dang it. That'll be something I work on over time. Ooh. Not gonna move you just yet. Not yet. Really wish we had an easier way of moving a lot of this stuff. Man, if only we just had scrolls. I'm, I'm like running scenarios through my head of like ways that could be teleportation could be done. Yeah, we just don't have it. It's just not happening right now. God. So yeah, okay. Um... Hmm. This all needs to be moved. This would probably be better moved with a create contraption. And then these need to be sort of moved in their own way. Like move this, I'll put like this here, this here to signify what they are. This here.
so confused when they were stacked. I was like, wait, what? Here's a rain shield. I mean, this is like the start, though, of something new. Like, I'm pretty excited for. I feel like moving all of our stuff over is a big, 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 big step forward. Come on. Okay. Uh, this might be it for us right now. Time to head back. If I go through this portal, this is something to test. If I go through the portal, then going back through, interesting. But, okay. Interesting. I should add more amplify. We're getting there. Home and back commands to move quickly. Are you in a rush? <laughs> they were, they supposedly removed them. They are supposed to be removed from the main part of the, this pack. I'm not going crazy there. Look, if you look at the change log, I'm almost positive. It said it in there. I'm pretty sure. I'm not like losing my mind. Great. Now I'm going to be even... I'm going to be even more desensitized to actual creepers. Thanks to this pack. Ooh, thank you, by the way. What just happened? What do you mean, what just happened? The, oh, the, the creeper jump scare? You legit got gum, jump scared the first few creeper events in my world? Dude, it jump scared me earlier. I was like, what the heck is going on? Over to chunk load. Uh, we'll un yeah, we'll we'll definitely chunk load and stuff. 
Like, well, so we're kind of like rebuilding. So we're, we are going to have to like restart and re reset up things. I 100% expect to do that. I'm thinking this needs to be where we put our mob farm. Are you talking about claiming the area, not chunk loaded? That's right, we need to change, claim it. Oh, if the water wheels just weren't such a pain in this pack. I can make things look so much prettier. Maybe that's why sometimes I don't I don't enjoy cre I don't enjoy um expert packs as much is because it's super limiting in like the, the prettiness factor. Because you're limited in like pipes and everything at the beginning, so you you can't really you you do end up with like the wires everywhere. Normally. There are unbreakable wheels. Oh, ASU. Good, good, good. So they did add the ones for contraptions. You tried saying it at the start of the stream? I must have not I must not have seen your thing. I didn't read the change log. I should have read the change log before I started playing today. That was my that was on me. That was on me. Good, good, good. I mean it's eight SU. I can see people though taking these and freaking making a crap ton of them for their thing. Taz also mentioned them. I must have missed it. I sorry, I didn't read read the chat. My bad. I mean it still doesn't replace these. Like I would need I would need 32 of these wheels to do what this does, to do what one wheel does. So it still doesn't change, it doesn't help me. Say so you mentioned a Reddit post with a screenshot of a chunk from bottom to top build limit with these wheels crazy i know people will do it that's that's people will do it it's it's ridiculous but people will do it but i do like that now okay good so that suggestion is great so now we oh so that means i can have crop farms like we can literally make crop farms and tree farms and we can make contraption farms. Oh, 
thank God. That actually opens up so many possibilities for automation now. Kind of. Yeah, because, uh, yeah, it works great. Because now, we because you don't need stress for belts. So this would work perfectly fine for, for belts. Windmills are also an insulting 4SU. Windmills are in here? Up to 64 SU. Windmills, though, are like, you can bring it power with you. Good. Oh, it says 64. It's not. I wonder if they have the mod in here that allows one windmill cell to be on the thing. Because I like building those kind of contraptions. All right, anyways. I like that though. I don't think that's a, I think that's a good thing. Okay, so uh, glue, so we're going to go back and glue some more things together and possibly bring them over. Um, let's see, I could probably add another space over there just like this. I can't see the light overlay. It says light overlay enabled, but I can't see it. It only displays when it's something isn't one. Oh. that perfect if I can figure out what the grid pattern is on these we could potentially well 
We could build out our own grid and use a schematic cannon to build out custom sectors to expand on this. But already I, I like that we have these these areas here connected on these levels. So at least for right now I can move things over. There's lava. Generic B Wellman. Those are the gazebos looking things, something you built? No, this is the sky islands in this. So this is actually like a villager island, but I am taking it over. So we use create to move everything from our base over here. Oops. Oopsie daisy. I wish I had built this. Shoot, I can barely, I can barely make andesite owl in there. <laughs> we we have nothing, bare bones. I feel so defenseless and useless. We, uh, we did go through ours today, though, and we, like, unlocked the power of ours. So freaking powerful. So now we can just fly. Did you hear about the red blue ships that collided? All the sailors were marooned. Oh God. Welcome in Bisco. But no, these buildings are pretty cool looking. And this already uses the R's wood. And these are calcite. What do we have as far as calcite? So we'd have to make it like this, but we can generate calcite with andesite. Yeah. Pretty nifty. They added water wheels, regular water wheels into this now. So now I can make farms that I weren't able to, I wasn't able to make before because of those limitations. Well, they only generate eight stress, uh, eight stress units. <laughs> and we watched them sail towards each other as we shouted Indigo. Indigo. Oh my God. It was a violet collision. Wow. You just talking to one of the devs about it? Nice. I just realized. Uh, the only downside is I don't have... I don't have a great way... You're trying to wrap your hat or head around SU balancing for your pack? Oh boy. Well... Yeah. Mm. Now we're into the SU balancing. <laughs> uh, 
like a what about a stress generator that uses fluids or uses it consumes a material to generate stress like a coal stress unit generator or a solid fuel stress unit solid fuel solid fuel generator and cuz some people make lots and lots of water wheels Yeah, the large water wheels are actually pretty good. You can make about 32,000 SU off of 64 large water wheels. Now, compared to a steam engine, compared to a steam engine, steam engine at max tier, with a very simple setup, actually, produces 147,000. So, it can only take you so far on the basic water wheels. It can only take you so far. Alright, I think we're doing good. All right, I gotta get my little, uh, my little demon guy up. Um. And we'll set him up right here. Set up my little demon guy. Uh, yeah, we, we don't have to use as many trap doors as you do it this way. Okay, and then barrel here. Mm -hmm. Where'd my Ender lead go? Oh, it's in my inventory. Okay, there's our big boy. Get some raw zinc in there. What else you got? We get some raw lead. I don't think we've done lead. Just remove steam entirely? I mean, at the end of the day, is, is your people are still going to be generating stress units. I don't. It's confusing to me. Is like, here's create, but you can't use it. Right? Am I out of my mind for thinking that too? Here's this mechanic, but don't use it. I don't want you to use it. Okay, uh, do 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 do. Can I make a mana tablet? Ender pearls cost less than a diamond. A mana emerald costs this la uh, ender pearls the cheapest. Living rock. Oh, 
Oh, it's it's not it's not this, is it? It's infested stone, right? Yeah. Well, it's more like here's create, um, and I've developed a cool quest path. But you won't be care. You won't care. Because you chopped down 10 trees and had enough materials to make 64 water wheels in 10 minutes. Yeah. I mean, if you, for example, like the Create Arcane Engineering, it has enough infrastructure that water wheels got me to a point. But I had to make steam power. Because water wheels do become a hassle, they take up a lot of space. They take up a five by five by one area, and that's just for 512 SU. So if area is not an issue for them, then, but I mean, you can generate so much more power. Like to produce that 64, I had to have like eight. So it was 16, it was um, 64 divided by eight. Yeah, I had eight sets of eight water wheels and it only produces 32,000 and that's a lot of freaking space there's a lot of space that's taken up for that and then you need to combine them all together so you need a ton of gearboxes and a ton of shafts like it's not necessarily something early early on to do all right i gotta um mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Always fine, like at the end of the, yeah. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Alright, um... Move stuff over, but I don't know what... Uh, really start clearing this out oh yeah we were gonna move the um well i gotta get a stone so i have my ender pearl i have my crafting table i need to pick up my mob spawner somehow Um, Is the rickety wheels just a script? Is that just CubeJS? It's not like its own mod? It's through CubeJL, oh my god. Oh, they made a mod for it. <laughs> I don't know. QGS can do a lot of things. I think with QGS, I think you can tell it to like, to make it look like it's a mod, like it has a mod ID instead of it just saying from QGS. I think you can. Yeah, CubeJS can change the mod name. <laughs> God. It's insane. Okay, so we need to pick up all of this. Mm 
would have been funny if they would have just gave you a create contraption and a rail for this. I want to go a little bit lower. You can always look at the script and then figure out how to do it and then do it. Make something else. Let's put this all in a contraption. Strong arms. Oh, it doesn't pick up the vector plates. That's interesting. I have my magnet on. Sad, lonely place here. That needs to be picked up as well. Oh, he despawns. Oh, yeah, that's right. We'd have to name him or something, I think. Or not to despawn? Question? Maybe? Okay. Um. Do I have enough for a pearl? I do. Okay, so there's a tablet. So at least I'm doing something today. Okay. We need to send to tablet. That was instant. There was very little in there. Okay. I don't know how we're going to move our mobs. It's probably not going to happen. But at least we'll have everything moved over for the next time we play this. Kind of looking forward to. Oh, I want to bring all these over, but like... 
these are kind of a pain to like set up and transfer the stuff of because I want to keep them all in line. Okay, so let's do like you go here. Just throw that. You go here. Uh, what was the other part of this? A hopper. Book. Okay, and then this was... Fermented spider eye, sugar, milk. And then this one is... Button, redstone, okay. that's moved oh then moving all the mobs i don't we're not gonna be able to do that we'll have to do that later what's late just joined in i just noticed wait what oh hello just joined in uh what's the gimmick and goal of this mod pack it is expert It's like just a harder version. <laughs> it's hard for me to explain what expert is because I don't even know how to define expert sometimes. It, it's just like harder Minecraft. Harder mod packs. Like you have to jump through hoops. There's like you have to go from one mod to the other. A lot of multitasking typically. At least there has been in this pack. Don't expect to get through anything fast. Okay, I should have... Yeah, let's take this. I'm going to lose a little bit of creosote, but that's fine. I think I'm going to go ahead and take this. I'll have to come back for a contraption for that. And then crops will have to be another day. Yeah, that'll be another day. I'd say, though, I got quite a bit done because I can now do just about anything I want with ours. Expert usually means you have to really know how mods work together to build solutions. Yeah, to the quest given. Yeah. I don't know. As a non-expert myself, I have no idea what I'm doing. Other than, I don't know, expert packs are like, um, it's it's where you, uh, if you're good at building minefields in Minecraft, you'll be fine. You can grab an animal with a lead and then fly them over. D don't they break off of leads? They would break off a lead, right? That'd be funny though. If, I mean, I, with uh, the... The space over here, I should be able to fight the wild and Chimera. You move too fast. I think we can get a tier three spell book. And then, well, we still don't have scrolls. Dang it. Them gating the scrolls sucks. I want the scrolls so bad. To go to space though like we'll get them here from the lunarians whenever we get through this chapter but this quite a bit to get through this chapter so there's gonna be i'm i'm about to build a huge factory with all of these buildings
Okay, we're gonna figure out where to put the mob farm. I, I want to put it right here. I have a feeling, though, it's going to take up more space than I'm thinking it does. It's going to break these blocks, too, and it delete. I don't think it drops the blocks. Unless they change that. It's supposed to drop the blocks. Um... All right, so we'll get it. We'll get it set up. Uh, let's go ahead and see and visualize what this is going to look like before fully placing it in. Is that right on the money? It does not appear to be right on the money. Maybe it is. Is that right on the money? No way. No way. Holy smokes, it is, chat. I guesstimated that so well. No way. So I could probably I could make this look nicer. Probably. Like we don't need any of this, right? No. So we can come back in here with like the pillars. Probably fine. Can't wait for episode three of Steampunk. It'll be out on uh, Sunday. So don't be like expecting it tomorrow because it won't be till Sunday. made the R's book, but I am not using the R's tools. Look at me go. Look at me not using the R's book to break these blocks. Oops, got a little carried away. It doesn't feel as satisfying as using uh using the book. There's a mod in here, by the way, and I don't know exact. Maybe you might have an idea. I can't think of a spell powerful enough from ours to use it on. But there are there are gems in here that allow me to bypass uh the mana requirement. So it's a gem that you can you can basically bind a spell to. And if that spell is too expensive for me to cast, it doesn't matter because it doesn't use my mana, my source, for the cast. And I just can't think of a spell outside of like a fortune spell, like a max out fortune spell, that would be good. That would utilize that fully. To make it worth even making. Just, I don't know. 
gravity with a bunch of amplifies. I mean, I guess gravity wouldn't be awful, but... I'm surprised this isn't spawning. I'm assuming it's not spawning be either because of the glue. For some other reason. I gotta go under and check the redstone. You prefer the pillar touching the ground? Do I have enough? I actually don't have enough of the... the pillar. I think it's gonna get filled in anyways. Oh, uh, let's check the redstone. So interesting, it didn't like carry over my redstone. What is this? A bone block. So it didn't carry over my... Now I'm confused. Right, because this is the block that I want to tick. Okay, so I want to tick the bone block. To do that, I could use a redstone torch. Okay, so it gave me back the redstone torch, that's why. Right? Why is my redstone set up this way? Because it would be this block, right? I need to tick. And this feeds back into the block. And then this is the redstone torch. I gotta, get, I gotta get some redstone. Oh, such a sad soul down here. Got an interesting necklace. You miss spending time with your kids during teenage years? Oh, man. That's kind of sad. I don't want to think about that. Then I'll have to think about think about my kiddos growing old. I don't want to think about that. Okay. Um The dreadful dirt. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I had I had three torches, that's right. So it doesn't play, it doesn't create, doesn't keep the torches. Huh. And it didn't look like it kept, did it kept our, uh, did it keep our, um, our settings? It did huh. keep our settings, but it didn't, it didn't keep the torches for some reason. And this isn't receiving redstone, or is it? it? It is. I 
We just need a lever. You think... Okay, there they, there they go. Wait, wait, wait. It, did, it also didn't take my... Oh, did it just delete it? Oh, no, it's right here. Oh, God. I was like, I have to make another Ender inhibitor? Okay, there we go. Uh, I doubt this is going to reach. It goes to it, but not to it. Not to this. How far? What's the range on this, I wonder? Actually, there's nothing to fill, so... It doesn't reach the source jars right there. Will it reach here? It surprisingly goes, it reaches a long way, actually. Okay, it's still, oh. Like, how far away does this work? Smokes. What if I put it right here? So that's too far. But like right here is not too far. Interesting. How does the industrial foregoing backpack work? It kind of works like a dank. How long after this live stream uh, will you be uploading this on YouTube? This will be this will be on Monday. You missed the beginning. This usually goes live on Monday. The one the the third stream of the that was a loot pinata. <laughs> Sorry for the jump scare. Okay, so I think, I think all in all, we at least got three things done today in eight hours. Uh, we did get our base moved, just like I was wanting. So now we have the Sky Islands to play with. Which I think is, is going to be pretty nice. It's going to be pretty cool having these, uh, having these set up. Yeah, and so we can, like, disregard that there's, like, lower islands and just, like, stick with this, like, flat area here. Because I just don't think there's going to be a great way to make a lot of this stuff look really good. It's just going to be incredibly in impossible. And I think it just might be for right now, just to not even worry about it. making things look good and just continuing progress, c continuing to push on into the progression.
Ours is an inventory interface? Yes, it does. It's called a lectern. Ours is just about everything. So I think of a storage drawer for this would actually be pretty nice. Oh, there's the pillars. Oh yeah, we can make the corners look like. Welcome. I dare say that mob farm works. It does. And you know what makes it work so good? You know what the crazy part that, that's making it work so good is the redstone underneath it. It's only three of those blocks, by the way. Three dirt blocks. I took one of the dirt blocks and I'm using it at uh, actually maybe only two now. No, no, it's three. Because you only get four, I think. Four or five of the dirt blocks with that farm. And so my other one is in the nether. And I'm using it to farm in the nether. And I just turned it off. But this one is insane too. I did just turn this off. But this, I just cleared it out farms your wither skulls it's just one block in here and because i'm ticking it with redstone it just keeps spawning them i don't know what these shards are for though Shards of Malice. God, we got so much stuff. I, d I don't even know what to do. Like, I'm so, like... It's like we started with nothing, and now we have so much crap that I'm like, what What do we do now? It's just... Yeah, it's just one cursed earth in there. One cursed earth. So ready to make an actual magnet. Um, can you make an ender chest? I don't think we have ender chest, so we got through looting, but this is how you would actually get it. We do have ender chest though. We could use them, yeah. And I can access it from there, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, so this is working. This, on the other hand, is very janky. It requires... So, I don't think it, it works unless we're utilizing the power. But with this farm, it should be fine. Also, why are you not working? Oh, your area is off. Because we changed. There it goes.
feels weird that it won't go back anymore. That's fine. So yeah, I, th I think just inventory management. I'm um, so I need to come up with some ideas, right? Um, and to definitely, I want to leave myself some notes, leave myself some notes. Um, mob farm manage. Mob farm management. Automate the essences from the mob farm. Um, can do occultism storage to transfer stuff. Uh, I, th I like our I like our storage over occultism. They also made it so you can't link the storages together, unfortunately. So mob farm management, automate essences from mob farm. This is something to worry about next time I play this. Um, which might not be Friday. We might jump back into it Monday. I don't know. It all depends. Um. We might do like a whole week of FTB Skies Expert. Mob Farm Management. Automate Essence from Mob Farm. Let's see. What else? What else? Automate Essence from Mob Farm. That's like something that's very important that we should definitely do. We probably need to rework our entire Create Factory. Uh, something I also want to note. Andesite alloy. We need to do this. If deployers can fix the wheels and not waste, oh, it can waste. Um, I wonder if these emit a comparator. If not, we could set it on like a really long timer. Either way, we can we can definitely set a really long timer. If we can have a basic system that is just set up to auto repair these things, then we'll be golden. You can set up a redstone clock to switch on and off the deployers. Yeah, yeah. That's what we'd have to do. We could use a little bit of easy redstone but we definitely need like we could have this indefinitely running gravel right a small system that is running off the main network that is just to simply sift gravel or we could just divert off the main system to keep it restocked either way either way um we would use a pedestal to generate gravel. Uh, then that needs to immediately be turned. Do you have access to the big wheels? I do not. No, no, no. 
no. But as far as like stress units goes, this is the best we have for right now. So generating a system that can auto repair these on a timer would, I don't know. Jumping into biodiesel is also the, I think the intended method. So we might just move towards this with what we have until we get here. But even this, I think, requires create. I know we'd we'd feed back the power. Um, I don't know. This is from this is a diesel generator. Diesel generator will burn diesel-based fuels and produce stress units. It consumes fuel constantly while it operates at the rate of about two millibuckets per second. Holy smokes! Thank you guys for the follows. Two millibuckets per second. Or a bit over... Oh, sorry. That wasn't a follow. That was my wheels breaking. A bit over eight minutes per bucket. You can toggle them on and off of the rest of the signal. Okay. So this isn't emitting. Does this emit? Oh, dang it. So we actually have no way of detecting when these are broken. Unless... So yeah, we would have to do a timer. We'd have to have a very specific timer. Redstone clock that's constantly running on a on a time, which we can do. Create makes that really easy in one one single block. Dang. Okay. Interesting. No way of checking its state or anything like that. Okay. Um Hmm. But yeah, the biodiesel we might want to look into. Uh, like, I think it recommends doing plant oil. Vegetable oil. You can start producing seeds with create. Processing, but once you can generate air pressure, you can double your yield by producing the seeds with Ematocraft. Vegetable oil is too raw as a fluid in the diesel generator, but blaze burners are happy to accept it because heat in place of coal. Okay, seed oil. So that's, okay. Um, and then this talks about ethanol. Ethanol, further refine. Earns your mob farm for spider eyes to get pictures of this early. Biodiesel, your first real fuel. So it needs ethanol, which you can also get from this, but the best way is to do it through Pneumaticraft. So we're going to have to have Pneumaticraft. What if you detect that the uh, stress unit isn't moving somehow? Well, if it, if it stops moving, Jenny, then my deployers wouldn't work. So that's, that's, that would suck. That wouldn't, that, unfortunately, that would kill the loop, wouldn't it? That'd kill the whole setup. Dang it. I thought about that for a moment earlier, and I was like in my head, and I was like, but yeah, if it shuts off. It's in a backup system. Yeah, it could have it turn on, like, a system that runs just, Yeah. That sounds even more complicated. I feel like this is the way it's intending me to go and probably not even to automate those. Even though I could. I don't even know if a deployer will actually use the thing on this. Too complex. <laughs> it sounds so complex, doesn't it? When I bet this is actually not as bad as it, it seems. If only we can make stress with power. I'm so caught up on the SU though. I'm so caught up on this. I just want to keep playing today. Can't though. Can't keep going.
Oh, we get given some free item vaults. Thank God, they're kind of expensive. A bee spawn egg? Oh, behave. Oh my god. Given, 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 given a lot of, a lot of stuff and through the quests. There's an accept all. Dude, I, I know. <laughs> Greg, I know. I 100% know. There's a reason that I'm clicking on all of them because I want to see what I'm actually getting things from. I I enjoy that. I know not everybody does, but I enjoy that. I like seeing what I'm getting my rewards from. And why am I getting rewards? That I do like. Otherwise I'd be I'd be kind of confused. <laughs> oh goodness. All right, I've got to figure uh well, you know what? We'll worry about that. We'll worry about this next stream. All right. We'll worry about getting some of this other stuff done. Um, for right now, I think this is a good starting point, letting me know, you know, where we're at. You know, if I do this and I go, um, get something, well, actually we don't really want to reset things back up right now. I think it's just plain and simple. Uh, even the work on cake automation, like that's down the road. Possibly. I don't even know where Pneumaticraft kicks in. So silver, thermo processing plant. When do you get into, into this? Cinnabar, sifting dust with the Manasil mesh will yield Cinnabar. Resources for Quicksilver. Cinnabar together with mineral resin will produce. Oh, so we still need to. So yeah, we do have to get a cake assembly line going. So yeah, cake assembly line is important. So yeah, that is the next thing on our list. So once we make a cake assembly line, we'll be good. And now that we have the ability to make farms with with the water wheels, that makes that a lot simpler because otherwise this would have been way harder. So we would need like sweet berries, sugarcane automated, uh, an auto milking section, which is not that bad. Just a rat hitting buttons, you're fine. Uh, sugar, sweet berries, milk. That makes the icing. I'll add this to my list of things that need to be farmed. Ow. We can probably... Oh, you can't make a cow in a jar? Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. Good. We'll do that. Uh, maybe a couple of cow in the jars or even one. One's probably good enough. And then we'll have, we'll have, uh, mana automated wherever we set this up at. All right. And then this is cake batter. Cake batter is going to be wheat. Mm -hmm. Then we need eggs. And then more milk. This is a 
That's a big assembly line for that. Probably use maybe depots and mechanical arm. I don't know. I'm diving way too deep into this when I <laughs> should be ending. All right, chat. I've got to find an end. Let's go ahead and find somebody to raid. <laughs> I can't keep up. It's I just keep wanting to dive deeper and deeper and deeper into this. Deeper and deeper and deeper. All right, Mischief of Mice is playing Between Lands. Who else have we got? Subliminar is playing Infinifactory. Cosmovoli is live with Vault Hunters. Soren is live with Forgecraft. Abe is live. Do, 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 do. I think we raided Abe last time. All right, let's go ahead and raid. We raid Cosmovoli. All right, thank you guys for hanging out with me today. It has been a blast. I appreciate you very, very much. Thank you guys so much, by the way, for chilling out with me, supporting me tonight, hanging out in chat, doing your thing. While you watch me do my thing. <laughs> Which might have been a chaotic thing. I don't know. If you haven't already, check out the YouTube stuff. I got a new series over on YouTube. If you haven't checked out the links, there's the links. These VODs will be posted on the second channel, so be sure to subscribe to the second channel if that's something you're interested in. And uh, let them know you're, where you came from. Chosen's Crew Chosen You. Appreciate you guys. It's been a blast. We got stuff done. Like, I feel like I got stuff done anyways. But a little part of me kind of feels like I wish I could have got more done. But I guess that's just life. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't feel that way at the end. <laughs> Goodness. All right. Dang, you're too late. Oh, no, you're not. You're, you're just in time for the raid. Like, let give Cosmovoli some love. Hopefully he's not actually ending. Because he might be. I don't actually know. Anyways, I appreciate you guys. I'll see you in the next one. And as always, chat. Chat, 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 chat.